Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone, to another final part of the Loading Artist Comic Streams. How is everyone doing? Good to see you all in the chat. Welcome back. Kyle Griff, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in now. It is time for some Loading Artist Comic King. Comic King. That's what they call me. Comic King. I'm Comic King every day. Except for when I'm not. I only, I'm only Comic King for three days a week. Today being the third day. Welcome back, everyone. Good to see you all. Uh, thank you for the follows, everyone. Who, who's this? Krasa, Krasa. Thank you for feeling dank for following. Uh, Denal. Thank you for the follow as well. And also, uh, Juana's Oreo G1. Thank you for following. Apologies if I mispronounced your name. Bring, bring this music back as well. Pretty good. Okay, how's everyone doing today? I, I am doing super hot, super not the not the cool not the cool game, but the temperature. Goodness me, got this ice block again. Just cram it down there. Just cram it down there. Ooh, ooh, damn, that's uh, having a nice effect there. Uh, and uh, as music's fine. Strike the doctors in the house. Nick Defee, hello, hello. Teddy as well. Super Tux, hello, hello, hello. Uh, Yuko, hello, hello. Uh, that funny guy, hello. Eras of 15, hello. Nicholas Spire, got Zod here as well. Welcome back, Zod. Eras of 15, I think I already said. Galaxy Hopper, welcome back. Uh, Rico said so, hello. Dower, Arab 36. Steven Deluxe, the lucky Steven Deluxe. Shiba Socks, one genius one. We got Void Animates, hello, hello. We got Arab 36 again, hello. <laughs> Some duplicate names here by me, whoops. Uh, it just means I, I appreciate you twice as much. <laughs> Wait, now, I'm, now it sounds like I'm appreciating everyone else that I don't pronounce the name twice, even less. Half as much, technically. Not the case. Who else we got here? <laughs> we got at least Chinese, welcome back. Uh, Kaseli, hello. Yo and Gogo, yo, yo, yo. Gritzkopf is here, hello, hello. Uh, we also have uh, Janakis, the one street oh, where it's Lego, welcome back, oh. Hmm. Hello, hello, how you doing? And, uh... Who else we got here? We got, uh, Yuko is here as well. JB. And, uh, Dak, welcome Dak. Lenya Siren. Molecules. I have three bollocks, hello. First time here, well, welcome. Love your work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And congrats on the three bollocks. Good to have you here. Uh, and, uh, you can, you can have two seats all to yourself if you need the more space. Plenty of seats to go around. <laughs> and uh, Duke Rival arriving here as well. And hey, Death Bulge is here. Oh, hello, Death Bulge. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you again. It's the, it's the one and only Death Bulge. It's the famous Death Bulge. How are you doing? How is the Kickstarter game going? Death Bulge, Battle of the Bands. Nice. I, hey, I'm getting into your space now, Death Bulge. You're using Unity for your game. I'm I'm possibly using Unity for my future overlay. We're like colleagues in a way. Almost equals. Almost there. <laughs> uh but differently animated though. You were doing the frame by frame animation, Toon Boom style, and I'm doing I'm gonna be doing the 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 spine two two D bones kind of the freemium Premium uh, app animations that everyone loves so much. <laughs> Don't worry, though. It's not gonna look cheap. It's gonna look, it's gonna look real nice. Uh, I just have to learn how to do it first, and then excel at it and be perfect. But we'll get there. Anakista, welcome back. Wilka, hello, welcome back as well. Or should I say, Wilka, back? That's all. Lamau, why do you always plug me so much? Thanks, though. <laughs> Don't you remember the contract that I that you made me sign, Death Bulge? I'm just trying not to get sued by you. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking around here. For anyone else wondering, I just like to put Death Bulge on the spot <laughs> because that one time he told me that there's no need to shout me out every time I come into the stream. I just want to be casual. So I'm now shining two spotlights on Death Bulge, one for each syllable. Hey, Schmitty, good to see you. Welcome back. And, uh, uh, let's see here. Rishu as well, hello. 
Wishu, Wishu, what's going on? Welcome back as well. Oh yeah, whoops. Your name was here before and I, I think I must have skipped it. No, I was saving the best for last. Not to say that everyone that wasn't that last wasn't the best. Everyone's the best. <laughs> this is why I can't have kids. This is just too much favoritism going on. Unintentional favoritism. Also, if I said to power, I probably have. I probably have said it like three times now. Power is obviously my favorite one now. Because <laughs> I've been saying it three, four times. Say, say your name so many times. And oh my goodness, Yuko. Cashing in some bees, egg joke, and a hydration. Okay, I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to hydrate first, because super hot morning. I'm going to need the hydration first. And then, and then the egg joke. So thank you very much, Yuko. We are, we are starting the stream on a good note. Very good note. I was hoping an egg joke would be redeemed. Ah. Bam. <laughs> Let's get one of these babies out of the door, and then we'll get into some comic work. Lots to do. Lots to do. And I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be a six-hour stream like yesterday or the day before that. I know there's a. There's definitely a pattern forming here, and we are pattern forming creatures, humans, most of us. And uh, but don't 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 believe your instincts. It's not gonna be a six-hour stream. I forbid it. There's too much stuff to do, especially today. Because I gotta finish the comic, polish the comic, come up with a bonus panel or bonus panels. Then I gotta stream that on Discord. Secret stream. Then I gotta p export the comic. And meanwhile, I also wanna be helping out SuperTux, helping me out with a, a new website re replacement. SuperTux. Our latest honorary VIP as well. Well, not yet. Not yet on the TV screen, but coming up. Uh, SuperTux, thank you very much in advance. Uh, definitely inspired by the amazing 10-year uh, anniversary community gift by everyone. The Loaded Artists uh, website knockoff of LoadingArtists.com. <laughs> I was looking over it again last night and then this morning because I was making a, a highlight on Twitch about it. Like at the hour that I'm checking it out, it's going to be a highlight on Twitch. And uh, hey, what about a vote about how long will Greg take today? I'll try my 100 bits. How long? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know. What, what, we only have two prediction choices for these predictions, these votes. It'll have to be like less than three, three hours or less. More than three hours. Nah, actually, it's too obvious. It's not going to be three hours or less. Four hours or less, or more than four hours. I guess could be the two choices. Yeah, that could that could work. That could work. Yeah, three, three was optimistic. No, no, no. Three, three is the goal, but it's never three. More than six, less than six. <laughs> it's probably more, more realistic, yeah. But what if I finish exactly on six hours? Then what? But, uh, but yes, the, uh, the Loaded Artist thing. Amazing stuff again. Thank you very much, everyone, who took part in that. Special thanks to Kitty Rolls for the idea, and special thanks to SuperTux for putting that whole website together. And special thanks to everyone who helped SuperTux <laughs> help, uh, help each other out. Thank you very much. But yes, SuperTux got to me and was like, hey, while I was copying your website, I realized I've done this so much better than your actual website, and I'm tempted to, uh, to suggest to replace your website with this new minimal static key, fast, hyperspeed, super efficient, super smooth, website um and so yes we are in talks about that so thank you in advance super Tux. i'm currently downloading the entire original website as we speak uh i've downloaded 3312 13 14 files and we still have five and a half thousand to go wait no five thousand six hundred to go wait no five thousand seven hundred files to go wait why is this number increasing shouldn't it be decreasing uh, <laughs> recursively adding files to queue. Okay, that's going to take all day. Okay, <laughs> that should take a little while. <clears throat> but it, it's getting there, so I'll, I'll keep you posted about that, Super Tux. And uh, I'm very excited. Very excited. I've, 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 always, I've always hated how sluggish my website was. I mean, some people say it's fine, but that's because the caching, but when I actually go into the back end with a WordPress 
Oh man, it slows down to like a snail's, like a like a like a handicapped snail, like a snail on crutches. That's how slow the website is you know, on the back end with all that WordPress stuff, which I don't even use like ninety five percent of it. And the other five percent is like a two year old plugin that's never going to get updated. So, so this sounds great, Super Tux. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to discussing more details with you um, in the DMs. And uh, keen on doing that. Right after the stream, I'll, 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 I'll uh, update you all on everything. And if you ever have any questions, Super Tux, hit me up for sure. Even during stream, I can ask you. I, I don't mind. I don't mind getting distracted from the comic. And comic code 100 bits. Would you rather be in New Zealand's peak summer day or in Texas right now? Oof. That is a tricky question because comic code. <laughs> if I said, oh, it's actually too, too warm here, I'd rather be in Texas, then I would look like the biggest asshole because Texas looks like it's suffering pretty hard right now. My heart goes out to Texans. That's crazy stuff. I didn't even realize it was so bad. I saw it in the news. At first, I was like, oh, it's snowing in Texas? Well, that's weird. Climate change is, is killing us, but snow, that's going to be crazy. What are you building some snowmen? Weird, but cold. But then I looked at some of the footage. It's insane. Pipes bursting. Power's out. Found out Texas isn't even on the national power grid. Like, they're the only state that they're not part of the national power grid that share power between the states or something. Which is confusing, because it's like, why wouldn't you be on that thing? I don't know enough. I don't know. I just... I, I literally heard about, like, two sentences worth, so I'm, my opinion is very small here. It just seems weird. And then, then it made me think about the United States in general. Why are the states all different? Shouldn't they be united? Why are there different laws in different states? Shouldn't it all be the same? Not only is it confusing as hell, but it's also... It just boggles the mind, is what it is. I don't understand. Are you one country or what? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ayuko, 100 bits. Load lurk. I... I I understand you could, these are 100 subtle bits nudging me into this egg joke that you're <laughs> that you're waiting on. Very patient of you, Yuko. Thank you very much. And on that note, after I've just uh, questioned the entire United States of America, let's proceed into some Easter joke book for the kids. So we are on... Let me pause the music for this. And the alerts. We don't want to be interrupted during this thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, get everybody get ready. Get ready. Some serious, serious comedy is about to be witnessed here. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? Me. Me who? Need to see you. They're not even words anymore. I, you would think, I, you probably thought, oh, like knee, like K-N-E-E. -E. Oh, um, maybe there's some sort of like medical, biological joke or something coming up. Nah, it's just the word need without the D. It's just, it's just the sentence, but cut off after three letters. I mean, at least we got three letters in this joke. In this show, we only had the two letters, and this doesn't make any sense. Woom, woom who, quick, a hen wants to eat me. <laughs> this one might be one of my favorites. This is in my top five for sure. But, uh... <clears throat> Gritzkopf, how much did this book cost? Not enough, Gritzkopf. That's my answer. Not enough. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't pay anything for this. I stole it. No, I didn't. I stole Grinspills' heart, and Grinspills sent me this book for Christmas. So, thank you, Grinspills, again. And, uh, don't, don't, don't tell me we're near the end of the book. Unfortunately, we are. We're only, like, a dozen pages left. A dozen pages left. Uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't be burning through all the pages too quickly. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pace myself. So we'll leave it there for now. We'll wait until we can get another egg joke redeemed. And then the next joke will be, will be here. And I, in fact, the next joke might be a two-parter, two-pager. So we'll see. <sighs> all right. So on that note, let's get into the comic. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, messed up the animation. Broke it a little bit. Um, that's enough. Don't even look at this. Overlay 3.0. Gonna blow everyone's minds. 
Website 3.0. It's going to blow everyone's minds by how fast it is. Uh, what else can I do 3.0s? That's it, actually. Just two things. It would be great if there were three things. Three 3.0s? Anyway, we'll think of it. We'll think of it later. Uh, via side comic, let's do that before I forget. Thank you for the reminder. Grits cup. Uh, let's see, put that there, put that there. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You can see I've done a little sketch of what the background could be like. Kind of cool looking, I think. Could you imagine if I uh, convinced everyone that this is my new art style? That the background is just these squiggles? It looks kind of cool. It's like, what, Picasso esque, I think? Like those bulls he drew? With the one line? It's, I don't know what. Minimal cubism? Squareism? I don't know. But kind of neat looking. And it got, it's. It, it makes you focus more on the, on the characters and the important elements. Everything else is just just doodles on the wall, essentially. That's what it's like. If I'm in the therapist's office, I'm not focusing on the plan too much. I don't know what it looks like. Actually, that's a lie. I do know. <laughs> I do. That's, right. that's how I look. Can't make eye contact. Just look at the plan. Uh, but no, it looks like a lazy thing. Can't do it as much as I would love to. I think deep down I know it's just it's out of laziness rather than artistic integrity. But... Let's see here. Can we redeem the new Garfield jokes, Nicholas Byer? Not yet. Not yet, Nicholas Byer. The new Garfield jokes, I'm planning on having uh, new rewards for them, uh, starting with next week's streams. Next week, you can expect the new Garfield jokes. Today will be the last day of the old Garfield jokes. In fact, that reminds me. Let me, uh, let me unpause it. And yes, next week we'll have much more variety, thanks to Yuko's amazing Garfield joke book library that they sent us uh, the other day. So thank you in advance. And uh, oh, let me just catch up on some chat here as well before, before it moves up too high and I can't see it. Um, hmm. And now, here's your host. Oh, Dave Deluxe and Gritzkopf, thank you for the hosts. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, because Texas doesn't want to be regulated by the feds, so they don't connect to the other two power grids. Oh, I see. Right, there's like this whole like Texas independence kind of thing, right? I don't actually know too much. All I know about Texas is that the flag looks pretty cool. It's like a minimalistic version of the American flag. And the state is very iconic looking. It looks like a right angle triangle sort of looking thing that's th those are the two things i know about texas um and there's also a show called dallas and that is one of the cities in texas and i think i was in dallas i think i was was it dallas yes i was i was there for a day one day in dallas and i think that is it for the chat catching up here yes 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 and come code am i playing any mobile games Yuko replied, he mentioned Archero, and yes, that's the only mobile game I'm playing right now. I, I, I kind of got burnt out a little bit on it, because that's what I always do with mobile games. I get really addicted to it, um, and then I start like, playing it like idly, like when I'm watching TV or something, I'm just ch chilling out like after dinner or something. I'm like just playing on my phone a little bit, not even looking at it, just finding like some sort of lazy, idle way of just grinding out some extra coins or whatever. And then eventually I just get sick of it. Uh, so I'm trying to push the brakes a little bit so I don't get sick of it too quickly. But yeah, I'm still technically playing it. Yeah. Um, reminds me a little bit of Enter the Gungeon. Speaking of which, hey, Stupid Crest, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. Okay. And is this the comic? The, is this comic the prequel of Opening Up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> totally is. It's in, it's in that little mini universe, that's for sure. For those of you who don't know, um, um, where, oops, 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 my hot key keyboard, please work! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Don't you dare do this to me, Windows. Don't you dare. The one time I forget to check if this works. And it's gonna do this to me. You. Oh man. I have a gun. Oh. 
Puss. Puss. <laughs> You're driving me nuts, Bluetooth. Oh, Bluetooth. More like a Bluetooth ache. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Okay. Thing is, the only way I can... I know how to fix this um, is to restart the computer. And because I'm on a one computer stream setup, uh, if I turn off the computer, the stream turns off as well. Why doesn't he just get a wired keyboard? I I did. I have a wired keyboard. I remember I tried doing this. Remember when I was when I had that nervous breakdown and I was trying all these different keyboards out? I tried out the, the, the wired keyboard and even that didn't work. I don't even know how that I don't even know how that relates. Why wouldn't the USB thing work? Something about the USB, Bluetooth, everything is broken. Is there a way? Hey, here's a question. Here's a... Hey, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. First of all, I need the fire. Fire is coming in. Fire is coming in hot. Whoops. Whoops. Nice. Uh, okay, we got some flames. That's good. Let's put on some music so that everyone chills out. Everything's all good here. Just regular technical difficulties. There's nothing to nothing to worry about. Windows 10. Ah, how to fix? Let's see. That sh this shouldn't take too long. Okay, just push Windows key plus R. Oh, okay, that's step one. Okay, I was hoping that was it. Uh, type services. Okay, okay, there we go. Let's see services. Okay, I can show all this on stream. Uh, wait, that doesn't even work. What the hell? Type services. I am. Services not come. I have no services. <laughs> this is a bad start. I already fucked up at step two. How come I have no services? Is services MSC? Even that doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Okay, something works. Now, right click on Bluetooth support service and select restart. Oh my god. Priorities. Good to get the fire back in. <laughs> oh, this is actually not bad. Pulls the brain down. Okay, cool. Bluetooth, Bluetooth, where you're at. Bluetooth, I got four blue... Well, this sounds weird in my ears. Why does it sound so weird? I got four Bluetooth sounds weird. Uh, Bluetooth audio gateway service, Bluetooth support service, Bluetooth user support service with a bunch of numbers there. Uh, I'm just gonna end all of those. Wait, they haven't even started. Wait, no, this one's stop. Okay, restart this one. Bluetooth is attempting to restart local computers. Restart this. Restart everything. Okay. Oh man. Oh! Come on. Come on. It's not working. It's not working, you son of a bitch. Okay, next thing is... Next next attempt is, um... Benex with 100 bits! It's a cool 100 bits. Thank you very much, Benex. Welcome back. Thank you again for the bits. Gregor, please just restart. You fucked shit up last time. Yeah, uh... 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 I missed your message. Uh... Try going on the device manager and disabling renabling the Bluetooth adapter. Also, hey, Sarah, man. Uh, okay, device manager. Why is this Bluetooth not thing not working? Come on. Connect. <laughs> Connect here. Bluetooth, here we go. Discovery, sir? Was it this, this, the Bluetooth adapter? I got like seven, eight. A Bluetooth device, device identification service, generic Bluetooth radio, the keyboard that I'm trying to click on. That could be it. Hey, well, trying to 100 bits. Windows 98, you may, you may turn off your computer safely. You may turn off your computer now safely. Orange text, black background. Black ground. Last from the past. Thank you for that. Well, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm going to... I don't know which one the adapter is. Uh, numerator? Enumerator? Service discovery service? I don't know what to do. The radio? Oh, the radio, okay. 
Hey, Teddy with a dollar. Remember when I went on a weekend without the internet? It's because I fucked shit up instead of just resetting my router. The coiler keyboard didn't work for the same reason for you. You broke stuff before you restarted. Please just restart. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm so close, though. I'm so close, uh, Teddy. Thank you for the dollar. Let's try this. Radio. Generic radio. Get done. You would... Uninstall. Warning, sure. Okay, it's uninstalling. Oh, man. Okay, the blue light has stopped flashing. This little thing here. I'm gonna plug it back in. See what happens. Oh! Blue light's on. Keyboard's on. All right, moment of truth. Didn't work. Clay, though. Welcome back. Being fine. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, the Twitch Prime resub. Clay, welcome what? back. Okay. Thank you very much. So, welcome back. I'm about to leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna restart the computer. This is it. I can't do it. Can't do it anymore. Gotta restart. This is. I. I'm done here. Shortest stream ever. Uh, I'll be back real soon. The keyboard is charged. Keyboard's working, lights on, no, no uh, connection to the computer. All right, well, I'm just gonna have to reset. I'll be back in one minute. All right, hold tight, everyone. Hold tight. Don't move a muscle, except for your beating heart and lungs. Are lungs muscles? I don't know. Okay, pause the music. Just disable the driver. It's not not gonna work. It's not gonna work, Reza. I've tried. I've tried disabling Bluetooth drivers, reinstalling. It's not gonna work. Just not gonna work. This has been a fantastic start of the stream. I'll be back in one minute. Good. Bye. <laughs> oh God. Hello? 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 Hello, I'm alive? I'm... Okay, hold on. Uh... Okay, hold on. It's working now, look at this. Hello? Hello? Aha, uh -huh. types in the chat. Okay, we're back. Okay, well, I got it. Hold on, I got it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do anything. I gotta open up my notifications. Gotta open up my, uh, server.bat. Open up my auto hotkey thing, open up my OBS current music, open up my Spotify, open up my Discord, open up Spotify, what are you doing? Install installing? What? Uh, open up the rewards and open up the... Yeah, that's it, that's it. Then I go back to this, I refresh the theater, and then I right click the theater, I go interact, I move this little window smaller, I click in it, click out, click in, click out, click away, control, alt, squiggly. Hey, I'm here. Okay, cool. Alrighty. We're back. Everything is looking fine. I believe, I believe, I believe it is. Yes, 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 yes. Chat's there as well. Okay. Oh, and the site download. Thank you for the reminder. I gotta, gotta restart that thing, Majiggy. Wish there was a way I could have just... Uh, I continued. Can I continue? Oh, I. Oh, uh, oh, I think it's continuing. No, it's not. There's a queue. How do I start this queue? Um, I don't even know that it works. Uh, cancels, toggles, processing. <gasps> oh my god, it works. Wait, no. Replacing. Wait, target file. Backups file. Overwrite if source is newer. Yeah, overwrite if source is newer. Apply to current queue only. Okay. Okay. I think it's continuing. 
I hope it's recursively adding more files and folders that it finds, but uh, so far so good. I don't know. Hello, if it already populated the queue completed, because I don't know, it's not doing that recursive thing anymore, which is a problem. That's a problem. It's also downloading all the cache. <laughs> Which is what we don't want, right? We don't want to download the cache. It's pointless. I cleared the cache before I started this thing, but, uh... Oh, well. Um... Gritzkopf, is it recording? Yes, it is. Thank you for the reminder, though. But yeah, we are recording, which is nice. I appreciate the reminder. That would have been bad if I forgot, because usually the recording only automatically starts when I open the curtains, but because we don't have to open the curtains, they already open, it wouldn't have recorded by default, so... Yeah, okay, no, it's looking good. Hey, Fox, Rogues, welcome back. Unpo and also, yes, unpause the recording. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty. Just repeated the question. Nice. Well, thank you to SuperTux as well for asking about the recording. Much appreciated. Everyone's, so look everyone's looking out for me. I love it. Okay. Double check that the okay the keyboard's working excellent. Let's get to some comic work finally. I can't even tell how long. Oh, about a about half an hour. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Could be worse. Could way could be could be way worse. This is not bad. Find time to start drawing here. Hey, Apple Strudel, welcome back. And uh, is there something like R Sync for Windows where you could easily resume syncs and also exclude directories from sync? downloading a website i don't know i have no idea i just i just have filezilla <laughs> that's what i have uh i right click and i click download that's it that's all i know but it is a six and a half thousand files in the queue so i assume it's going to be downloading some important stuff if not i could try it again later but it should be fine it should be fine okay let's get to the comic now Wait. Damn it. <laughs> Tomoko with 100 bits overlay idea when enabling fire animation have the TV spark up causing the fire Oh, 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 I like where this is going uh, When disabling fire animation bring firefighters to spray the fire at Tomoko, I love it Also overlay idea fix this table thing <laughs> That'd be sweet <laughs> But that, that that sounds like an excellent idea Tomoko I love that idea a lot Something for the Overlay 3.0 for sure. I'll write that down somewhere. Hey, you co- 100 bits, train where? Hype train? <laughs> this, this, this stream does not deserve a hype train. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not, not at all, but thank you very much, Yuka. And Sarah Man with 100 bits. Someone mentioned train. No trains. Trains are forbidden. No, no hype trains. Don't, re don't reward this terrible, terrible behavior. I don't deserve all of your support here. Let me let me do some work. Let me work for your support. That's that's what we need. God damn it. Um thank you very much. Super Tech's 100 bits as well. Hype. Hold hold on, hold on. What? Hold on. What, what am I doing here? Wait. Hello, your host. All right. Cool. Fires are out. Get that fire out of the way. Fritz Cup, thank you for the host. Leroy Kiwi, thank you for the host. Welcome back. And, um, and, uh, but yeah, Komoko, that's an excellent idea. I like the fire animations. It'll come in handy for sure. Uh, I'll add that to my to to, to list. Uh, fire animations, start and stop. Uh, hashtag animations project. Dual. I like to I like to keep all my ideas down in my to-do list. Um, thank you for that comic code. And the uh, hey Murdog three. Once you figure out how, will you be streaming the drawing of the new overlay animations? Yes, that would be the dream. Once I get into like the, once I understand what the hell I'm doing, and I get into the rhythm and flow of everything, when I start making like new animations for the overlay, you betcha. We've done that before with like this current overlay streaming that stuff, sometimes unintentionally. Uh, by mistake, but uh, yes, I'm, I'd, I'd be keen to do that on stream as well. And hey, Wuffy, I saw you here before. I'm not sure if I said hello, but hello again. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking around while I restart my computer. 
and uh, I think we are ready to go. Let's put some tunes in the Discord and uh, prepare your ears for music. Three, two, one. What do we got? Cool. Yeah, music, sweet. King of Skak, music's working. Sweet. Welcome back. Oh, and Vera, I was gonna show up. Oh, I was gonna show n opening up the comic. That was the whole point of this whole thing. That's when I found out my hockey keyboard wasn't working. Good point. Let's see this. Uh, letting eyes opening up. This comic. So you're saying this is a prequel to this comic? <sighs> yes. Yes. Definitely. Spir spiritual prequel. Spiritual. 2018. Probably my... Possibly the goriest comic I've done. For sure. So gory, I even like... I, I, I question myself posting it on Instagram, just in case I get shadow banned or something for gore. Yo, Yuko, on a pits. Load hole up. <laughs> Yuko, thank you very much. And hey, Wolfie, woof, welcome back. And... <laughs> Yuko gifting Apple Strudelig their first sub, their first hat. Yuko, what? thank you for... Yuko! Thank you very much. <laughs> so generous. All the bits, the gift subs, jeez Louise. The gar the Garfield joke books. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, now let's let me earn my keep here and start doing some work. So at the end of last stream, I had a uh, I threw a hail mary uh, sketch of what the background could look like, and uh, so what I have here is potted plant, possible bookshelf bookcase thing here, and the framed um, certificate of doctorations. Um, this is from the Empty Inside comic. I'm using that kind of as a uh, basis for that somewhat uh, consistency. Yeah, this one. Empty Inside. Got a little uh, certificate here, a little pot plant. And uh, yeah, it looks kind of nice. So this is going to look a nice, nicer version. Ooh! Oh, and I gotta hydrate. Good idea. Leroy Kiwi, thank you. Oh man, it's so hot today. Another hot day. Another day, another complaint by me. But next next summer, I'll be much more prepared. I'll be having like, I'll have like 10 air conditioners. I won't even have a window, it's just, the whole window will be just a grid of air conditioners. That's what it's gonna be like. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, let's start with the plant. Plant pot. I might do the plant on a separate layer just because it's going to overlap because of this uh, angle. So that's going to be nice looking. And, uh, hey, Cuptopia, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Alright, this is fine. And uh, away we go. Boom. Sort of like this, I'm thinking. Cool little plant pot shape. Kind of neat. A little uh, rotated there. It's not very straight. Might even put it a little bit more hidden behind the catch. Or maybe a little less. A little less hidden. More visible. Don't want to make it look too sneaky. That looks nice. And then we'll also do the um the dirt like this. Yeah, it looks nice. And now let's do the plant. Uh <laughs> come on, go. <laughs> come on, go. Just just as I was about to get productive. 
You pull me back in to another egg joke. Yes, egg joke time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and another Garfield joke as well, Nicholas Fire. Thank you very much. I was almost getting burnt out by my, how much work I was doing today, so this is a perfect time for a break. So let's see here. I think I did like three lines there Oof, in a row. Uh, I will say, hey, Ban Andres, welcome back. Hey, everyone, I hope everyone has had a and is having a good day. This is your daily reminder to focus on something different for 20 seconds to help relax the <coughs> eyes. Bane and address for sure. Good, good call. That's what I'm doing. Focusing on this joke book now. After 20 seconds of work. Um, let's see, where are we up to here? What was the music? What was the alerts? What was it BR1? Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? Joy. Joy who? Joyful to see it's spring. I think it was at this point that the uh, the, the author realized, wait, I can make a, a million knock-knock jokes. All, all knock-knock jokes are just, you say the first word of a sentence, and then you say the rest of the sentence. I think Sam Rayner's found the formula to all knock-knock jokes here. <laughs> I'm surprised that he only had, what, 10 pages left to go. Should have made a whole uh, collection of these ones. <laughs> but if, you're, if you notice, though, you notice underneath this amazing uh, borderline actually relevant picture here found on Google Images, there's actually the beginnings of another knock knock joke. And you know how we do that. That I consider that two jokes on one page. So let's continue uh, to the second joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Blow. Blow who? This flower is for you. Oh, man. Classic. Classic one there. <laughs> All right, but hey, in case you... In case you're worried about that there might be a pattern forming here, don't worry. Sam Rayner mixes it up. Mixes it up a little bit in the coming pages, so... I'm not trying to... Don't look at the reflections in my eyes now. Don't look... Don't see the spoilers, but... It, gets, it, mix, it mixes it up. Not... Doesn't... He stray, strays away from being too stale. That's for sure. And also... <laughs> a Garfield joke was also requested. So let's do this. The last day of this ancient relic of a Garfield joke book. Let's see. Uh, Doctor... How can I avoid feeling run down? Look both ways before you cross the street. <laughs> All right. Okay. <sighs> Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much to uh, Comic Code and Nicholas Spire for the egg joke and Garville jokes being redeemed here. And uh, I, there is also a hydration to do by Leroy Kiwi. I think I did, but again, thirsty anyways. Thank you. Uh, and now, let's get into some God damn comic work. That's oh, too early. First time I'm, I'm ever too early. On stream anyway. Uh, Rico said, said, this definitely is a secret... Spy secret code book. It's just in disguise. <laughs> a secret spy book. Translating messages over to the uh, enemy front lines. I could see it. I could, I could see it. You're kind of curious. Like, why does this embassy keep ordering so many of these joke book kids? Kids try not to laugh challenge editions. <laughs> very, very suspicious. <laughs> and hey, Robot Ninja 68 thank you for the follow. And then we also got a... Uh, just crispy. Just crispy. Subbing with our prime sub. Thank you very much, Just Crispy. Welcome. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. It's up your first hat. And uh, that is your sub as well. Also, if you're a new sub, connect your Discord to Twitch. Or Twitch to Discord. Discord to Twitch. And you get access to my secret bonus panels channel. Full with bonus panels. Excellent. And Brush and Bobbins, thank you for the follow as well. Let's continue now. And uh, to power, you gotta go. Class time? I'll see you later. See you after class. See me after class! <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Eh. No, I didn't. I wanted to say it like five seconds ago, and then I said it. That's how quick I am with my goals. <sighs> Plant time. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm kind of liking these long... Elephant tusk plants. It's like... I was gonna say easy to draw, but... Not really. I think that's sort of easy. You got a little bent, a few bent ones as well. Man, that looks weird. That looks a bit strange, I think. I think I'm combining two different types of plants in one. Or should I go for the more classic lines with a few leaves on it? The thing is, I, I don't really mind the... Usually I find that plant a bit too busy uh, for a background plant, because there's just so much little, little details happening. I didn't really mind in this one because it was always kind of half cut off on the side of the borders here. See? But here, the plant is like in your face. So I don't even know if I want to make a whole... Each individual leaf on a, each individual stem sort of thing. Um, and Kong Prime Gaming, are we doing comic tales today? Yes, we are. Gonna finish this up. Uh, dialogue, spider wrap. Comic titles, and that is that is it. That's today's schedule. Hey, PM, the animations are so cool. First time here. Hello, everyone. Hey, well, PM, thank you very much for joining us. Hello, hello. And, uh... All right. Let's continue here. I'm, I'm going to say this plant is pretty good. Pretty good. I might move it down, though. I don't want to see the where it's born from the soil. The whole thing is actually a little bit tall, too. A bit too tall. Sweet. Add a mask. Remove this bit. Then add a mask to the plant pot and remove this bit. And then bring that opacity back up to 100%. And then, there we go, I have a little plant there. Nice. Uh, I actually thought about this in my uh, brain last night. I might have another folder. But first, Kong Prime Gaming, coming in with their first silver hat. Twitch told me to share this. Well, I'm glad that you did. Kong Prime Gaming, get yourself your first silver hat. Thank you very much for the three months. Um... And Brush and Bobbins, oh my giddy Aunt Fanny on a ferret. I love your animated overlays. Well, hey, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm glad you love it. And uh, my condolences for your ferret. <laughs> thank you. And uh, what are they saying? Oh, yes. So I'm going to have a background. I'm going to have a back background. I know I said I didn't want to do that, but I realize now that is the way forward. And what I mean by that is the back background is going to be the floors and the walls. Yes. And the reason is, I'll tell you in a second. Keep you on your toes. The reason for that is because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might... Hold on. Let me just put this back in that folder. 
I might do something like this. So, for example... God, just get to the point already, I know, is what you're thinking. If I color in this plant here, and I shade it and everything, so if I select the line art and I go select the borders, make those reference layers, so I go bam bam, select this, select this, select this, make this green, um, and I select the plant pot itself. Wait, it's not going to work like this. Uh, one sec, one sec. That, and I make the soil, I don't know, like a dark brown, nicely fertilized, nutritious. Okay, just say that's an example here. Hide the sketch as well. We don't need that right now. I was, I was thinking, like, maybe this is too, too noticeable. So if I have this whole background stuff on a separate layer, what I could do is add a uh, atmosphere layer. So I'm thinking like maybe something like the, the background color like this. I I clip it to the background layer. Change the background layer folder to normal instead of through. And now it's only going to affect uh, whatever the background is. And I'm going to lower the opacity just a tiny smidge. Well, no, I'm going to lower it a lot and only have it visible a tiny smidge. Now this is just a quick test here, but you can already see what I'm talking about. Suddenly, this background plant is now like not as in your face as everything else. Look at these lines. Right now, the background plant, the black lines, are just as important as the couch, which is just as important as the characters. If I turn this thing on, it kind of pushes it in the background a little bit. I know it's a little bit strange, for an interior room to have, like, atmosphere starting, like, arbitrarily just behind a couch. But, uh, I think it could be useful in, uh, decluttering it a bit while still having some interesting backgrounds. Uh, but it would require a bit more tweaking, because that, that was just a quick test. I haven't even shaded it in yet, so it doesn't even look like it needs to have atmosphere pushing it back, because it's not even that in your face. But, uh, we shall see. Um, what I used to do before this technique to, ma to make that happen is only apply this uh, atmosphere layer to the line art folder so that the colors are the same, but it's just the, the outlines are less uh, intense. Which I guess I could also just color the line art folder. I don't have to really clip a color layer to it. Um, and what I used to do before that was actually I would color each line art layer as separate colors. So instead of black for the plant, it'd be like a dark green, and the, pl the pot plant would be a dark version of whatever the color of the pot plant is. Some something like this. But obviously you'll get issues, because now it's not going to overlap nicely. You're going to have to do some clever stuff, like if it's like this, and make a, the mask really cut off everything beautifully. I'd also technically have to move the soil line to a separate layer. It gets a little messy. A little, a little too much effort when I could just do something like this. But again, not these colors. This is kind of gaudy and awful and ugly looking, but we'll experiment. Just showing you the, the system I'm thinking of going with. Also, strike. <laughs> Yeah, I, I should have showed the sh animations off. Brush and Robbins, loving my animated overlays, and then I'm like, oh, thanks a lot! Did like this little thing, and then just left it there. I should have shown everything off. Like this. <laughs>
Kong Prime Gaming. Yeah, I think your animated overlays are really impressive, especially since you said you coded them yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't code them myself initially. Like, I had a lot of help getting the, the overall system uh, from an actual expert coder, which I have then since uh, downgraded to fit whatever new ideas I had in mind based, based off the initial base code uh, that I would, like, reverse engineer. So, like, you know, I'm getting my I'm getting my 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 coding fingers a little dirty. I should probably key, clean my keyboard, but uh, it's mainly from reverse engineering and like trial and erroring after having like a base to work off. But thank you though, thank you very much. And damage TV, congrats! You just invented depth of field. Oh yes, with this uh, with this technique here. Yeah, so it's not blurry depth of field, but just like. I don't know how you would describe it else. I don't like this. Something like this. Change the blending mode. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Oh, maybe I didn't even need it. Who knows? Okay, but anyway, before I get nuts with the shading and everything, I'm going to continue with the rest of the background stuff. So that's just the plant. We also want the framed certificate thing here. And possibly a bookshelf. I know I say possibly because that's uh, a lot of work. Bookshelves, a lot of lines, a lot of colors. Uh, and I'm also thinking, is it even... Does it even make sense to have a bookshelf? Well, I, guess it, I guess it makes sense. It's not, the couch isn't against the bookshelf. The angle's a bit different. Yeah, okay, then that's fine. We can do it. Uh. <laughs> and, oh, also, hey, Katsu, did I say hello to you yet? I'm not. Oh no, I think you've gone. Just want to drop by and say hi for a sec. I'm heading to bed now. Have a good stream. No! Sorry for missing your message. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Well, Katsu, if you happen to still be here, just shaking in rage that I have yet to see your message. Have a good night. Hope you have a good sleep. Um, and if you're already asleep, then I am sending you some good dream vibes right now. Look at this. There it is. Oh, you're still here. Just waiting for me to respond. Well, excellent. Sorry to keep you waiting. Have a good night, Katsu. Sleep well. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Framed, framed picture. And words like that, to be fair, that's how a lot of professionals start. Oh, the reverse engineering thing? Oh, that's good to, that's good to hear. I was kind of hoping, hoping that might be the case. Um, I feel like I have learned a lot about coding while I was like trying to reverse engineer all this and make stuff happen. And uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, doing that same stuff with the Unity overlay coming up. But first, I gotta learn how to animate in Spine. But I'm getting there. Still rigging, still in the rigging process of uh, my test character. I've gotten the arms and legs moving with IK constraints, inverse kinematics. Look at me, all smart with the smart words. Um, where like a, you move the move the hand and like the rest of the arm kind of like moves around to to to. To match the hand, you know what I mean? Same with the legs, you can flip flip the angles, it's, it's kind of cool. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to try and work on is the face. How to like get the face controls, the eyes. The eyes is a whole other thing, I don't even know how to do the eyes. The eyes are tricky. Uh, hey, Dry Rays Girl. I'm confused. Does Gregor have to restart this, this stream? I had it on before, but I did some super more. Oh, super, super momming. I think it's a super morning. Like, whoa, you're having a super morning? That's good to hear. But now the stream has only been on for 30 minutes. Yeah, I had to restart because my Bluetooth keyboard wasn't working. The one time I forget to check before the stream. Makes me wonder if it has something to do with turning it on midstream. Maybe my computer doesn't like that. Uh, hey, Darkblade, welcome back. 
and uh, a first check Alola. And uh, what else was I saying? Yeah, the eyes are confusing. The way I, the way I animate the current hat guy's face in this overlay is the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. I basically the the pair of eyes is like one PNG, and I have a bunch of different eye shapes. Uh, maybe I should just show it off. But I'm showing you in a way like don't do it this way. This is a bad way. I did it because I was. Young and naive. Uh, where is it? Images. Hold on, let me find this for you. Why is it? Hold on, let me make it zoom. This display options fit. I always change this by mistake. Fit images to window. Fit only. Only big wood. Okay, we are. Yeah, that's it. So I got this, 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 this. This, 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 this. Basically, for every pose that I have in these animations, I basically had to like draw a whole new PNG. Um, I don't think this is the best way of doing it, though it is the most unique. You get the most unique looking eyes, but it's not the most efficient way. Like this is when I do this. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Quite a better way of more more dynamic ways of doing it. Then you can't even animate this either. You know, it's just, it just changes from one picture to another. Uh, and then with the pupils, that's like another problem because if the pupils are on the edge, they'll go over the the edge of the eye. Uh, the pupil, of course, just looks like this. <laughs> or this. I got two pupils for some reason. And uh, there's, there's, there's smarter ways of doing that, I'm sure. It must be. Must be. But I'm not sure how to do it with this style. Because uh, some face, face rigs, they have like just skin shapes like uh, under eyelid upper eyelid and then you just kind of squash the eye with these like skin parts but it doesn't really work with my character so much because it has like the outlines all the time it's not it's not just eye and then white it would just be white to white um and i thought about maybe it should just be like dots for eyes just like how i have the uh the viewer people when they come in they just have dots for eyes that'd be a lot easier i think but even then You'd want like eyebrows, you know, squinting abilities. Oh yeah, perfect. Thank you for the <laughs> thank you for the example right there. Uh hey Bar Borja Bor, thank you for the following. And hey, Keller Renton. 46 months, Keller Renton. So my reset anniversary is even more late than the loaded artist's anniversary celebration. Oh well, here I say another 10 years and 10 more after that. Hey Keller Renton, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Boy. 46 months. Jeez Louise. It's almost four years. Jeez Louise! It's almost half half my entire loading artist career. <whistles> Thank you again, Kelly Renton. And hey, Jamamp, welcome back. I just jumped into the stream, I hear animate? Yeah, I was talking about the, the future overlay. Just showing off what it could look like. I'll say, hey, big bro, Nintendo. Hello, hello. And, uh, Zod, I'm sure we can even make the pupils track the mouse pen. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. Um, no, I, interesting idea, but I don't think I'll, I don't think I even want to do that. Mainly because I think it kind of limits it a bit too much. I don't want Hack Eye just constantly looking where my hand is. Like, that is kind of cool, but I think I'd rather just have a bunch of animations it cycles through randomly as well. I think it's a bit more interesting. But maybe at some point there could be like a, uh, hey, look at this. And then that guy like is looking at what I'm looking at. That could be kind of neat. Just make everything look like the wake up comic. <laughs> that is even harder. Actually, it's not, 
Oh, it is hard. It is hard. It is hard. The wake up comic with the, the, the thick arms and legs. Thick arms and thick legs, I think, is the way forward for the overlay. But, yeah. The face, though, the, the two dots for eyes? Maybe. Might do it that way. Um. Just doing the bookshelf here. I'm thinking the bookshelf will be like flat, straight on, not angled or anything. That'll help make it look less like the chair is pushed against it. So. And it's easier to, to draw if it's flat on. So that's nice. It's like a win win. Uh, and now to do the books themselves. So I, the books I do like this. Check this out. Okay, look at this. I know right now you're like, what the f are you doing? Look at this. I might regret doing it this way, but... Uh huh? And I, now, now what I would do is um, I do this. Look at this. First of all, get rid of the bottoms. And get rid of the tops. And these ones as well. And then it's like, okay, I want some variation. Okay, I'll make... This one, and then that one, and these ones up there. That one be a short one. <sighs> Boom! Different books, different heights. And this last one could be more angled. Because there's always that one book that doesn't want to play with the others. That works. Um, also, Master Black Cretamia. <laughs> Another egg joke. How? What is this egg joke time? The egg timer is nuts. I feel like we just did an egg joke. Not that I'm complaining. I don't want to spoil you guys with all these incredible jokes here. Let's do it. Master Black, let's do this. And, uh, oh snap, before that, before that, Master Black, hold on. Comic code, new overlay idea. Combine Garfield B egg into a slot machine, channel point redemption, and make it slightly cheaper. You have a chance to earn all three, only one, or lose all the bees. I love it. Interesting. I've actually, I actually doodled something very similar to that. Like a spin the wheel sort of thing. <laughs> when I was on my brainstorming, like, what else could it, what else could it be? What else could I be? What else could I throw it? On Zod's plate. <laughs> um, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. Spin the wheel. I like that idea. And uh, and Atlas Strudel, can I ask a new question about how you cut off the extra lines? Uh, totally, you totally can, and I'll I'll do you one better. I have a a whole tutorial video on just that. Well, not just that, but it focuses on that. Have a look, see. Jamam just linked it. There it is. And, uh, oh, hey, Exocomics, welcome back. Welcome back. How you doing? Okay. You've just, you've also just arrived at the perfect time, Exocomics. Because it is time for another. Another egg joke. I know how much you love these, so let's check it out. Where are we up to? We're on up to page 58 here. Master Black, hope you're ready for this. <clears throat> uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Choo! Choo! Who? I've got chocolate and I'm not sharing. That makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> I know it does. I know it doesn't. But you know what? I know I promised. I promised last time that there, there wasn't gonna be just a formula of just like random 
half a random word and then another random sentence that has that word. I will throw in another page for you, Master Black. All right, take this, take this home to bed with you. Uh, it's not even a joke. It's uh, it's well, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to show you what it is. All right, look at this. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> Business bunny, earning bunny, parenthesis money for nothing. It's just that. That's it. That's the whole page. It's just Business Bunny. A little bit of a Donald Trump haircut. I'm not sure if that's intentional. Oh, I, I, I extremely doubt that it is. <laughs> uh, I think it's just a coincidence. But yeah, earning Bunny for nothing. That's it. And also, God, I don't know if this is coming up on the stream at all, but look at on it. This looks better on my stream than it does in the book. But this text here, this text is like from the... What's it called? The uh, Commodore era. Commodore 64. I can count the pixels on that text. And it's a different resolution from everything else. Like, this text is pretty nice. Then, then the image is much, much lower res. And then this is, like, the lowest res. It's almost pixel art, but you can't even... Ah! To... You know what? I really don't need to do this. But I want to. I'm actually going to... Autofocus on this. Just so... I just want to, I just want to show you guys. Look at this. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's that money shot. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then if, while we're here, look at this picture here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. But yeah, this is the... That's the real deal. Anyways! Yeah! And that autofocus back off. And, uh... Alright, Master Black, have a good night. Thank you for the egg joke redemption. And, uh, let's get back to work now. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Big bro intended. But not funny, didn't laugh. Oh, then you are, you are winning that try not to laugh challenge, my friend. Oh, it's backwards. All righty. Let's see. What year did this egg book come out? Just as I suspected, it doesn't say. There's no year on this. It's timeless. <laughs> There's actually just like three blank pages at the end as well. There's no year on this, unfortunately. They have a copyright section. And that's usually where years are supposed to be, right? But no, nah, there's nothing. There is nothing here. You don't want to date yourself. Okay. Let's get back to work now. <laughs> um, what was I doing? I was doing right, these books here. Yeah, they look like, okay. I don't know. And now that I look at it again, I'm kind of not super into the style that I did of this in. Because the upper lines are too thick compared to the thinner lines. I mean, I could thicken them up a little bit, but... I mean, we'll thicken them up. I'll thicken them up. Thick these lines. Thick, thick, thick. Ooh. That's okay. You know, that's fine. And we'll do the similar sort of thing for the upper shelf. So we go line, 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 line. And then I'll, I'll, I'll get a bit fancy here as well. I'll do a... Oh, hold on. These lines will be the... Like this, and I'll go... This book will be one of those side books. Like that, like that, and then we'll have another. Uh huh. Clean that up. And some of these books will be. Actually, they'll, they'll all be taller than the panel allows for. Actually, except for this one. This one's going to be a short book. Short book there. And maybe here as well. Yeah, that looks fine. I'm also gonna, they also look a little too thin compared to the second shelf, so... Keep that consistent. Oh, actually, and I hate that line. Cool, and... 
technically, you know what? There should be another shelf here. God damn it. A third shelf. Let's do this. I'm going to move the background to the front of the everything, just so I can see. Wait, no, I shouldn't have done it that way. I'll just lower the opacity of the foreground and the midground. Turn them into ghosts. And now I shall... Oops. Find the spacing. Okay, here is where the next bookshelf should be. Right, right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm also gonna, for the sake of completionisms, I'm gonna close the bookshelf down there so it's a full shape. Buff Cowboys, thank you for the follow. And also, hey, King Haskak with the 100 bits! Spooky foreground and midground. This is a haunted, haunted therapy office. The ghosts of. <gasps> the ghosts of comedy. That, that works as well. Thank you very much, King, for the 100 bits. And, uh. <laughs> I should put a spiderweb in the corner or something, not Wuffy? Wuffy, spiderweb in the corner. Maybe. Because of a possible spider? I don't know. I feel like this therapist, he keeps his place nice and tidy. Um, the spider that we had hidden in the, the previous therapy comic that I know of uh, is actually in the plant here, right there. Spoiler alert. Whoops, too late. Um... But I th I'm thinking this one might be best better suited in the bookshelf somewhere. It's a lot more nooks and crannies that the spider can live in. Or hide in, rather. Big Bro Nintendo, am I losing... Am I, like, using Adobe Illustrator? Uh, no. I'm using Clip Studio Paint. It also has vector layers. Although it's not a vector program, it has vector layers. So I'm still, it's still outputting this comic into a raster canvas. Like if I zoom in, it's still pixels, but the layers are technically vector in the form that it is a mathematical curve that can be edited whenever. Release. Go to the Mac, go to that. Uh, I guess that one. That one. That works. That works. That works there. I'm gonna make the rest of them a bit shorter. I don't want to see it a little bit stick out over the hat. I think that would look distracting if it was just like a few pixels of color there. Um, pay with a dollar. Hey, Gregor, Sam Rayner forgot to add one joke to the egg book. I just DM'd it to you on Discord. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? Uh, knock, knock, who's there? Gregor Tchaikovsky, Gregor Tchaikovsky who? Loadingartist.com, the best place to read loading artist comics. <laughs> Humorful and educational. The best kind of jokes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, I mean, if, if his therapy is to hit someone, I doubt he's using those books as, at all. Are these books? That's why they have different thicknesses. Some are hardcover, some are softcover. It's good to uh, have different types of hittings. I have a whole collection of them. Whole arsenal, if you will. And Piyam, thank you for the follow. Thank you for choosing the follow. Big bro Nintendo. Can you make it as a meme template? It's best if you can make a blank speech bubbles for that. So everybody can make memes for this as well. Interesting idea. I had for a while... Uh, textless versions, blank versions, 
for tier two subs and patrons. Uh, I've recently stopped doing that because I feel like it wasn't really that, it was more effort than it was worth. I don't think people actually cared too much to have it. Uh, could be kind of neat. Probably makes more sense to offer blank versions more to, um, for everyone, because the reason for blank versions is that it's so easy to make memes and stuff out of it, so why would I want to limit that to a certain smaller, much, much smaller group of people? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm, interesting. Hey, hmm. Something for the website. Blank version. Click that. Takes you to a blank version of the comic. Hmm. <laughs> Super Tux is like, oh god. Oh god. Feature creeping. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. I'm just spitballing here. I don't know. It could be kind of neat. But then again, no one really goes on the website anyways. I feel like people who usually make the meme stuff, meme templates, they usually just screenshot it from like Reddit or social media. I feel like there's already so much on the website as it is. Hmm. Interesting idea. Also, hey, Nick Mundo, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How you doing? How are you doing today? Uh, the, the creator of Casa Grandes. Am I saying that correctly? Casa Grandes? Casa Grandes. Casa Grandes, I think. <laughs> Not the creator, just the storyboarder. But hey, kind of like the creator though, isn't it, Nick Mundo? That's where it all, that's where it, that's where it gets, that's basically where, you know, creation happens. The storyboard. This is where it all begins. Everything else is just nurturing. You're, you're the one giving birth to the visuals, Nick Mundo. That's how I see it. Storyboard artists, highly, highly underrated. That's a pretty sweet job, though. Yeah, the blueprints of the episode. Very cool. So I, I take it the storyboard artists, they only do like the black and white sketches, right? They don't, do, do you also have a say in like the colors and the coloring? Or are you just more for like, just like the pose, the expressions kind of thing? The key, the key frames. <coughs> also, hey, Katie, Amber, thank you for the follow. I'm gonna see. I'm not even gonna bother doing the other shells because you're not gonna see it because it's gonna be behind the character in the couch here. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna move forward with this. I don't like this thin book here. I'm gonna remove this thin thin book. I like the angle. Like the, the thing is kind of cool, but I might do the, from the other angle because we already have one going that way. This one will be the other way. And it's gonna look like this. This, oh, not so angled, maybe a little less. <laughs> come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Hide that, hide that, hide that. Yeah, I like that. Pretty good. Uh, Oh, it's, oh, it's Casa Grandes. Ah, I see, you gotta roll the tongue. Casa Grandes. Casa Grande? Silent S at the end? I'm not sure. And let's see here. Hey, Anria, welcome back. And uh, Crisp Nugget. The real question is, how do you convince someone to pay you to be a storyboard artist? <laughs> I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. I have, I've never been a storyboard artist, although I think, I think a YouTube channel, uh, offered me a storyboard position, storyboard artist position, but I said no. I was too scared. Plus, unless it's Pixar, you know, keep walking. <laughs> no way. Pixar would never, ever reach out to me. And even if they did, which they wouldn't, 
I would be too scared shitless out of my little shitty pants. <laughs> There's no way I would ever, ever want to be involved in a Pixar project. Because that is like far beyond, far beyond my capabilities. Like those Pixar people, they may as well be like the modern day muses. I don't know. They are like the the pearly gates of uh, animation. <laughs> I would just back out. I'd be like, not worthy, not worthy. And I would just like shuffle back. <laughs> I don't know, the Zoom meeting down the corridor. Not to, not to come off as some, some sort of like Pixar fanboy or anything. All right. I haven't even seen Good Dinosaur. Doesn't even look like my kind of thing. Soul was good though. I like Soul. That was the recent one I saw. <laughs> uh, let's see here. At least Chinese. Hi, Gregor. Work has been super busy, so lurking mostly, but here's a clip of you almost syncing up perfectly with your overlay when you said those goddamn cats. What is this? I'm curious. At least Chinese. Let's check it out. Oh, oh, it's a, oh, it's a move, move file. Hold on. Is that working? Let's see here. All right. Oh, is this not working? What have they done? There's cats. There's goddamn cats. Oh, they pushed the numlock button. <laughs> Wait, what? They love to push that numlock button. Wait, what? What have they done? There's cats. There's goddamn cats. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What am I syncing up with? Oh, the, the hand wave. There's goddamn cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty. I think, I think you mean there's goddamn cats. Hand wave. I can see it. I thought you meant like, I think you meant like there's like a cat that appears out of nowhere. As soon as when I say goddamn cats. But it's, it's, it's his hand wave. At least Chinese. That was actually totally intentional. I sync up all my, all my words to the animation of the overlay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so late to the streams. I'm, I'm just busy rehearsing so, so hard. It's about time somebody noticed. And, uh, hey, Nick Mundo, if we do color, uh, as storyboard artists, it's just to depict a mood or use of a color card. But overall, the color designers handle the color. Storyboards these days are like keyframe animation. Right. Right, 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 right. That's cool. That's cool. Color, color designers. That's something I would never want to be. I find coloring super hard to, to figure out which, which colors are best. This should just be like a cheat sheet. Like, tell me the best colors, and I can just copy up that. And technically, your comic roughs are a form of storyboarding. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I have thought that before, yeah. Just the, the sketches. Um, you know, this could be a story, a very, I guess, very uh, sparse storyboard. But yeah, these two characters talking, and then bam, camera zooms in. I, 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 here's something that's going to blow your mind, Nick Munder. Look at this, look at this, huh? You, I do this as well, the little, the little, you got to do the, these things. Camera zooms in. I don't know, little one, 0 0.1 seconds, <laughs> something like this, right? And it zooms out, and it pans. I don't know, something like this. I imagine a lot of storyboards are covered with those kind of uh, arrows and things like this. This song is too intense. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I put the vomit emotes in. Yes, 619, the vomit emotes are in. Still have to do the vom4, which is going to be a forward vomit projection so that you can do vom1, vom blah, vom2, and then vom4. 
like the the spray, like it's about to about to hit, because then you can put in like a different emote at the end, combo it up that way. Right now you can only do vom one, vom two, and then just has a hard cutoff, which is not not that great. Um. Also, hey, Papa Romeo, welcome back. And uh, let's see here. Uh, and six one nine. I watched you make the vomit emotes. I love them. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm happy with how they turned out. It was a bit of a bit of a touch and go for a while, but satisfying vomit in the end. And Nick Mundo, yep, that's why you probably got approached for a storyboarding job. Comics are kind of close to storyboarding. More drawing poses and camera work, though. Right. Right, right, right. That's, yeah, totally true. Totally true. Camera angles and all that. Yeah, you're right. That's interesting. That's interesting. Um, but hey, Nick Mundo, what, uh, did you, did you know from the beginning that you wanted to be a storyboard artist? Or how did you get into that? Um, I feel like storyboard artists is not something people really talk about very often when, like, you know, when, when you, when you ask, oh, what do you want to do when you grow up or something? I feel like, uh, most people, if they're in that kind of position, they usually say, animator, I want to animate stuff. Um, but I mean, there's so many more, like, specific jobs, like, yeah, storyboard artists, rigging artists. Lighting artists, color designers, as you mentioned. So many specific jobs there. Curious to know how, like, how you, how you pinpointed where you wanted to go. And, uh... Storyboardartist.com, the number one place to view storyboard artist comics. <laughs> okay, what am I doing here? Let's start coloring in this bookshelf. So first I'm going to start with the, the brown wood kind of um, frame of the bookshelf. This is a temporary color, don't even look at it. Then I'll do the, the, back, the backing board of the bookshelf, which is going to be of a similar color but darker and more saturated. Um, looks good. And now we will also do the the books themselves. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to first just select everything. Give it red. This therapist only reads red books. Um, it's his red wall collection. Red wall. Red wall. <laughs> that book series with the mice, the medieval mice. You have to be there, I guess. Anyway, I'll make a new layer, raster layer this time. And now, I uh, select different colors and just work my magic. Um, 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 these ones are here. Uh, not, I'm not gonna get too crazy. It's not gonna be like a rainbow shelf, but you know, some gray ones. These ones are gray. A uh, few gray. You can't even see those ones. Uh, that one I got some darker ones. Again, this is, should be a background object, so we're not going to have any bright colors. Maybe a few pep it in. But nothing too crazy now. A little bit of a... Orangey green. There we go. Maybe with some yellow ones. Um... Some blue ones. And you're not even going to see those ones. And that's another. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to get to have, I'm trying not to have too much of a pattern here. Like, oh, there's all these like thick blue ones in a row here. I'm just going to have the yeah, final one. Orange and orange. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now, let's see what it looks like when we um, fill in the foreground and middle ground back to 100%. Oh, 
Okay. I hate it. But why? <laughs> I'll tell you why. It looks like that the brown of the couch is messing with the brown of the bookcase. Um, I do have this atmosphere layer that we could turn on and it have has, a, has it be pushed in the background a bit further, but still it's too close. I might even change the couch color to something else. Like a, that already I prefer over that. Plus the lighter couch helps show off the, uh, the limbs better. Nice contrast there. Let's see. Uh, but yes, Red Wall. Aren't they making a Netflix series about that or something? Yeah, I heard that. I heard they were making a Netflix series. Should be interesting. I, uh... But then again, I don't want to give the wrong impression. I haven't actually... I don't really know much about Red Wall. I read one book. Martin the Warrior. I remember enjoying it. I don't remember anything about it. But it was kind of cool. I read it in high school. And, uh... That's about it. That's all I know. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <laughs> Dak used ad permitted term art. Art was a forbidden word by Automod. <laughs> that doesn't bode well. Hey, Fireball MSA, welcome back. Randall Silver, hello, hello. Uh, the Red Wool author lived in the house behind your nan's house? Fun time doodles? Oh, really? Oh, wow, small world. Especially with Redwall. They're mice. This small world for the mice. <laughs> uh, I hate Nick Mundo. That's right. I was actually a 2D animator first, but after spending eight years in small studios doing all parts of pre-production, I realized I wanted to be a storyteller, so I switched to storyboarding. Going on six years of storyboarding now, I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> My God. You and I both. I also feel old. I've been doing this for ten years. Ten goddamn years. This comic. Well, not specifically this comic, although it feels like it's been 10 years on this comic, but Loading Eyes in general. So, yes. <laughs> I relate to the old old feeling. But that's cool. 2D animator first, and then switching to, to, to uh, storyboarding after working on pre-production. Sweet. What, uh, what kind of, uh, what kind of animation software did like Toon Boom? I don't know. I'm not even sure if Toon Boom was around back then, like what, fourteen years ago? I am currently learning how to animate in Spine, which is a uh, bone bone based animation program for Unity. Well you can use it for Unity, the game engine. Because I'm I'm working on the next overlay overlay three point oh and I'm gonna try and have a fully rigged character so I can actually do animations properly. Well, properly. I, I know bone bone rig animations are probably frowned upon in the cartoon uh, universe. <laughs> but hey, this is, this is for the overlay. It's got to be more dynamic. More uh, programmatic. Uh, and also, I'm not, I'm not an animator. So it's... I don't want to be, like, doing frame-by-frame -frame stuff for the rest of my life. Getting overlay 3.0 out of the door. Um, and fun time doodles, there was a small meadow nearby, and that's where he sat to imagine the stories and write them for Redwall. That sounds very wholesome. Very wholesome. That's very cool, fun time doodles. Thank you for sharing that. I like the idea of that. Just like the authors. Nice, nice meadow. Cup of coffee. Writing on a typewriter. I love the idea of being an author. Just a fat stack of paper, typewriter, glass of whiskey. Cigar. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like whiskeys or cigars. But I like the, the, the look of it for an author. It's cool. And uh, is it going to be an anniversary issue of the comic? I, well, technically, my, the 10-year anniversary was already last month. So I have done a 10-year comic. Uh, it's called Blast to the Past. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let's see here. First comic of the year. Here it is. Go! Time is running out! Confidential. Warning. Global events 2011 to 2021. Huh? 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 Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Start a webcomic. 
and bam. And it makes more sense if you know what the first comic that I've done looks like. It looks like this. Boring. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna start a fucking webcomic. And thus, Loading Artist was born. 2011. This is my first comic here. And so it's kind of connecting the two of them in one comic. But, uh, but yeah. That was the, uh, the anniversary comic I did. But that holds no candles whatsoever to the 10 year anniversary gift that the community gave to me uh, just yesterday. Yeah, do I have the. Let's see if I remember the URL. Loadedartists.codingfor.coffee. Uh, a complete knockoff of my website here. <laughs> complete with uh, everyone's own version of my comics. So here's a uh, HD version of all the different uh, hat guys going by everyone else. Let me zoom out a bit. And those are featured in the comics that people have chosen right here. And it's just my comics redrawn in their own styles and things. <laughs> and it's also a little description, a little uh, writing, clip, relevant click, little clips, and then you click here to go to the original comic on the actual website to see the, the difference. It was awesome. I am... I haven't shared it out yet, in fact. I'm gonna be doing that tonight. I'll be I'm writing a, a blog post uh, talking about it and uh, and also featuring uh, Mark Mansfield's uh, anniversary montage video as well, which I still haven't shared out, so I'm gonna do all that tonight, along with tonight's comic. Uh, you gonna need some tissues? <laughs> Everyone keeps trying to get me, get me to cry. I only cry at sad Pixar shorts and movies, but uh, I'm crying in here. My heart is leaking. I should see a doctor. But yeah, it's like super detailed. Like even these gifts over here, thank you Dry Rays Girl, are working and everything. It's awesome. <laughs> I feel incredibly, incredibly lucky to have such an amazing community. Um, let's see here. Oh, there's something else here. Um, an egg joke and a and hydration has been redeemed. Well, fireball, thank you for the hydration. Stroik, I'll get to your egg joke in a second. So many egg jokes. <laughs> and Nick Mundo, those, uh, those bone rig animations. I mean, I mostly animated puppet style, so no judgment here. Oh, okay, sweet. Excellent. I wasn't sure if it was like frowned upon or anything. I, I that's the vibe I get usually. <laughs> the thing I think it's like to do with a lot of those like freemium like apps and games utilize that kind of bone rigged animation and it just looks I think it's kinda of like tainted it. Just like how the Family Guy art style is all tainted as well. I feel anyways. Um and oh yes egg joke and also words like without comic feels like yesterday wait which which one are you talking about the 10 year anniversary comic or the first comic ever because to me they both feel like 10 years ago making this comic i don't know it, it's, it's weird time is weird here but yes egg joke it egg joke time Bam, strike, let's do it. One more egg joke. Here we are. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? Hunt. Hunt who? Hunt chocolate eggs with me. <laughs> and we got milk and bunny, parenthesis, honey. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Strike. And uh <laughs> looking forward to the other ones. We're almost at the end of the book. How many pages do we have? We got one, two, three, four, 
four and a half, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pages left. Ten jokes left. And some bonus pages, which is not jokes, but something else. Cool. Alrighty. Looking forward to it. Depending on how long the stream is today, and we might even finish it today. Who knows? Let's continue the music. <laughs> um, hey, Jenny. Welcome back. And, uh... Yeah, I wish that, I wish that book was, like, ten times longer. He's gotta, he's gotta write another joke book. He has to. Okay, next thing's f next. Let's do the uh, framed picture frame thingy. If I look back at the um. Oops, I lost it now. Where is it? Ah, loading artist empty inside. This thing, Majiggy. The certification of doctoration something something looks. It looks correct. Looks correct. The little uh, yellow um, uh, stamp thing, the Loading R's logo, Squiggly's signature, and some writing. So let's base it off that. This is probably the best reference there. Has a kind of a cream border and a off-white center. Okay, let's do it. Off white enter. And uh, let's do the squiggly stuff. But do we even see. You only see the upper half. I'm not even sure you're going to see that little loading hours logo. No worries. No matter. Uh, let's start with this user gray. I'm going to do the. Almost looks like this, the Nintendo seal of approval. Sure. Uh, and then you have the little there, and then you got some, you know, some writing. And you got a little signature, and let's do the, uh, the yellow thing. Oh, dear God. I don't have my correct reference layers here, but it's fine. It's faster to do it this way than to set that all up, set all that up to select it properly. That's fine. I don't know, that yellow is kind of gaudish. Oh, dear God. Oh, man. Son of a prune. Uh... Hey, Yahan, welcome back. Good evening, good evening. Oh, in fact, good afternoon over here. It's just past noon, 1218. You know what that means? I think that might be lunch soon. What is that noise? Like a banging noise almost. That uh, could be my ass. Maybe. Oh, I have a pause alerts. Goodness me. Uh, hey. I I want... I own a... I own the Mastion. Thank you for following. Yeah, it could be my ass. I'm just sitting on this this ice pack. <laughs> half half my ass is numb. Um and the other half is jealous. I wanna swap it over. Ooh. Bounce it out. And then my chair keeps doing these cracks and squeaks and Yeah. Yes, it, is that right? Okay, now it's not doing it. It's just like when you move in a chair and it makes that fart sound, so you, you want to move and make sure that people know it's the chair and not you, but it doesn't happen again, so now it just looks like you farted, and now you're having some sort of weird spasm as well. Yeah, this chair is making noises. I gotta start uh, lubricating it better. Um, what am I doing here? This looks pretty good! I like, I like this, uh, it feels cozy, being in here. I haven't shaded it yet, though, so maybe let's start on that. Let's shade it, and then I think it might be lunch. 
Hey, Kitty Rolls. Welcome back. How you doing? Um, subtle, subtle shading here. Multiply layer. Not sure about the color of that shading layer, but we'll. I'll change it later. Uh, do I want to have a separate shading color for the plant? Because I like having green multiply layer for green objects. We'll see. For now, let's work on other things. All right, and then this. Some details there. Um, let me also make turn them to ghosts again briefly while I look at the shading of the bookcase. I don't even know if the bookcase really needs shading, to be honest. I mean, it's kind of flat. What else do I need? Um, I guess that's a little detail that no one's going to notice. Make it look like the, the shelf is a bit re recessed in. Uh, I could make some of these books with 3D. I'm not sure if that's worth it. it. Might just look weird. I could use the shading layer. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the shading layer as a method of um, adding some spine details. I got the... You know how some books have those, um, I don't know, the tied up set or something in the back. Uh, it looks about right. And some of them just have the top half. Upper half, they look like socks, like baseball socks. Some have some, some dots. Yeah, it looks about right. Sure, I don't know. I don't know what books look like. It's not like I have one. <laughs> yeah, I still gotta make a book. Someday. 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 Also, hey, if I should for some reason get into some sort of unforeseen, horrible, horrific accident and die, I expect someone, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, to Exocomics to, uh, to finally put my book together and put it out there. And make sure it gets on the top of the New York Times bestseller list as well. I mean, I'm dead. Like, what, what a great story, huh? I finally made a book after I'm dead. Over my cold, dead body. <laughs> Greg's gonna fake his death. <laughs> Faking the death? Now that's an idea. I was just tempted by the normal way. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Can I make the book and sell it and take the proceeds? Jamamp? No. I still expect, even though I'm dead, I expect all proceeds from my book. Just funnel it directly into my coffin. I have a little uh, tube, stuff all the notes and coins down there. If it's Bitcoin by then, drop a little USB stick. Um, that is, those are my demands. I will not budge on these demands. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, uh, shade the plant now, I think. It's kind of a neat... Ooh, ooh, oh, who, who is this? Suddenly Picasso is screaming here. What a nice little 3D detail there. Looks kind of cool. I don't know if it... Actually, I don't even know if I like it anymore. It's kind of neat. Oh, now, do they all have to have weird metal bits? Yeah, this is just like children all over again. You give something to one of them, you have to give it to all the other ones before they get jealous. I don't have any children, by the way, if you're new to the stream. I'm taking care of some cats. Uh, about as close as I'll ever get.
That is a disgusting shading color. That's okay. Let's fix up these missing pixels here. And now let's bring the foreground and the midground back into 100% mode. And yeah, it's looking okay. I mean, I'm not even sure if we even really need that fake atmosphere layer. It is pretty clear. Actually, no, I take it back. Look at this. This is horrible. See how dark that bookcase is? That guy's hat is just blending in there. Um, I mean, I know it's probably visible, but it's not really. And especially on other people's screens, it could be too dark. So I, I think I do need some sort of thingy here. The cool thing is, though, I can uh, add a mask. So, like, this plant might not, shouldn't have so much of this on it. It's like weird atmosphere dust. I'm going to add a mask. And just kind of wipe it clean, essentially. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's okay. Looks kind of neat. Sunken. 1114. Thank you for the follow. And, uh... Of all the artists, you picked Picasso to exemplify a 3D effect. I meant a modern day Picasso. If Picasso were still alive today, he'd be like knee deep in Blender, I'm sure of it. In Blender, not in a Blender. FYI, the 3D modeling program. Uh, okay, I think it's time for lunch. My stomach just whispered me a message. And message received. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for watching so far. Enjoy these clips for the next 15 or so minutes. I'll be back very soon, as soon as I can. I'm gonna have a quick lunch and check on the kitty cats. And, uh, I'll come back and finish the rest of the comic. It's looking pretty good so far. Surprisingly, uh, productive. We're gonna be able to copy paste this onto this and then maybe do a little. Mm, oh, well, we'll see how far we get. We need to do the plant and a little bit of the picture frame here. Do the text, change some colors. This pen is killing me. The gray and the gray of the background. Disgusting. Uh, and then make this look a lot better with the swish. Swish and the smack. Change the shading layers, shading colors there. And then I think we'll be ready to move on to like spider rap. Oh, well, dialogue, spider rap, comic titles, and end the stream. Excellent. And then I'll have to look up bonus panels and ideas and yada yada yada. Anyways, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. Lunchtime. See you all soon. Uh, three, two, one. Pause the alerts and good bye. All right, sorry about the wait. Welcome back. Lunch is good, thank you for asking. A little hummus, a little cheese, a little toast, and a couple of logs of fecal matter it was also part of my lunch. It's a couple of code browns in the kitty litter box that I uh, had to get rid of, and then I also had to wash their little paws as well. So there's a whole, you know, all eight of them. And, uh, and, but now I'm back. So, um, welcome back. You ate cat shit? Hopefully not. I did wash my hands. Uh, I think I washed them enough. But anyway, I wasn't like, you know, mashing that poop anyways. Like, yeah, compact them into a small cube. Wrap it up, sell it to children. <laughs> oh, God, what am I talking about? <clears throat> uh, your words like a see. See, you still love your hummus. Sure do, where it's like a... Can't get enough. I wonder if part of it is because I associate it with, I don't know, Dubai or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, chalet, shawarmas. Oh, man.
Would love that. Let's see here. Okay. Um, put some music back in, in, the, in the Discord. Three, two, now. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, all right, all right. Everything's looking good. Excellent. Oof. Numbers are rising still on the front page of ANZ. I think I am. I think this is the last week. After this week, I'm no longer featured by Twitch ANZ. So um it's been a it's been a wild ride. And uh part of me was hoping that I was no longer featured, in which case these are just legitimate organic numbers, but no, I think I think I still am featured, pretty sure. Also the laser poise, thank you for Crits Cop. Uh, who is this? Who is this? We got the Lucky Eight Groove. Thank you for following. And also, what's that smell? Oh, it's Lorenzo. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Um, <clears throat> hey, just roasted potato. Hello, welcome to the stream. Charlie. Oh no, <laughs> you only remember Almala. Oh, uh, Almala. Is that the one in Satwa, right? The green one. No, Chalet. Like S H A. L E T. But that's, and I don't even know if you even went there. That's more of a, a local near, near to my, my place at the time. It was on uh, Beach Road. Beach Road? Yeah, Beach Road. Oh, I saw Beach Road. Yeah, yeah. Talk to, for everyone who else is like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Which, where's Lego and I go way back, way back to Dubai days? And, <laughs> and Chalet is a, a classic little restaurant used to serve like super cheap, super cheap food. Um, plastic garden furniture on the outside, Coca Cola umbrellas, you know, the whole deal. Um, oh, you thought that was after my time? Chalet was great. Oh, hey, where's Lego? I don't know if that if your chalet is the same as my chalet because I looked up chalet on Google Street View. And it looks totally different. It looks fancy. I looked it up on the Google reviews as well. There's like photos, there's like actual plates and stuff. Like I was eating there when it was just styrofoam, everything. That looks nuts. In fact, hold on, let me just. Nah, I'm, I'm, everyone's like, show the Google Street View now. Okay, let's see. Let's check it out. I was so productive in the first part of the stream that it, I, I can, I can, I can take a little time off here, and reminisce. Um. Let's see if this will work. Let me just... Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> Satellite mode. Back to D Town, or my old, my old, my old hangout, old hangout spot. Uh, chalet, chalet, chalet. Something here. Burj Al Arab over here. Jumeirah Beach Hotel. Beach Road, Jamara Beach Road. Chalet was like. Hold on, let's go. Let's go Street View. Well, the Street View does not help for me because. Wait, what? There's no Street View. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, seems like only. Okay. Man, Google Street View is very poor in Dubai. I don't know why this is so limited. What the? F Look at this road. Okay, weird. Where are we at? Uh, oh, that's that park. Was Shelley after this park or before this park? I think it was before. Is further back? No, I can't get there. Oh my god, look at this car. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> this really sums up Dubai well here. Oh, this is new. Oh my god. I remember these houses. Home Sakim 3. Yeah, it's my town. US3. <laughs> uh, don't mess with US3. That's what my crew and I used to say. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, the naming convention is crazy. Um, Sakim 3, how it just rolls off the tongue. Uh, that's crazy. This road is a three lane road now. Oh, here is Shelly. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Look at this. This is it. Looks totally fancy. Look at these fancy ass, like, Julius Caesar looking hedges. Bench. Very fancy. This whole thing looks totally different. Um. 
You got Indian, Chinese, Turkish grills, and Arabic grills. You got it all. You don't need to go anywhere else. Chalet got you covered. That's new. That whole building. I don't know what that is. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is this? <laughs> Random ass mansions. Weird. Anyway, but yeah, that's, that's, that's Chalet. It's not the Chalet I remember. It's very different. Yeah, where are the beach chairs at? Yeah, Owen. Let me see if I can Google image. I want to see if there's a photo, like old school photo of it. We're going way off tangent here. Um, Al Chalet restaurant. Al Chalet restaurant. Okay. I, th I think there's some potential here. Okay, so not this, not that. This kind of looks like it has that vibe. Those plastic lawn chairs. Oh, this doesn't look like the same place. Oh, this is like Al Zara Walandali restaurant. No, that's not it. But it looked kind of more like this. That aesthetic. Um. Damn. What was the one you were talking about? Where it's like a uh, Al Mala, right? Al Mala. Is that still there? I don't even know. Yeah, I remember this. Neon green sign, though. That's what I remember. Blinding. And when your eyeballs are just filled with green rods and green cones, that's when you know you're near to Al Mala. Um, what do they have? Yeah, grills. I, I, don't, I don't think I remember being here so often, but yeah, look at that hummus. Authentic hummus with the olive oil and everything. Nice. Yeah. But I don't think, I think you guys might have gone there after I left more often. I don't, I don't remember going to Almala very much with you guys. I think I, that was, that was after my time. That was after I left for New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> I missed out on so many good memories. Oh, man. Oh, well. Uh, let's see here. Also help... Sorry if I'm missing out so much chat here. I got so distracted by the nostalgia trip. But I'm back now. Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh... Hey, Hufflepuff Wolf. Just came by to wish you a nice day and say hi. So hi and bye. Hey, where's my... Where's the nice day wish? Didn't even get that. <laughs> I feel robbed. Hufflepuff Wolf, though. Thank you very much. Thank you for dropping by. Uh... Before you trade, I, I didn't have any choice. I had to. It was either I go with my parents to New Zealand or I stay in Dubai and I make it on my own. <laughs> I drop out of high school, get a job. I don't think that's even allowed in Dubai. I'm not sure if you can even get a job until you're 18. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm. You know what? I'm, I'm realizing I hate this notebook color here. So it's the cyan is. It's not good. I mean, I guess we could do. Originally, I had a, a, a kind of a, a brown cardboard. And you know what? I like that better. That looks much nicer. My eyes are agreeing with me here. This looks much, much nicer. That looks good. Um, don't forget, there's gonna be speech bubbles all over here, so you're not even gonna see the background very much. That's more for the tier three subs and tier three patrons. They get the speechless versions, as well as HD versions. And uh, next up, we have. This background we still have to do. So, if we turn on our sketch here, a little bit of the plant, a little bit of this. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna copy and paste the hell out of this thing. Starting with panel three. Boom. Perfection. I'm gonna have to do some fixes on the side here, but yeah, otherwise pretty good. Uh, and <laughs> let's see how sneaky I can be with this thing. Oops. Alt, click, drag. And then whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, 
That looks sweet. Well, actually, no, let me move it all, down, all the way down here first. And then apply this. Select this. Move it up a bit. That looks good there. And then move, select the plant, move that a bit higher up. Oh, Gregor, you clever, clever son of a bitch. Hey, I'm not even too worried. Grinsville's isn't even here. What Grinsville's don't know can't hurt him. Can't hurt me. Uh, <laughs> Grinsville's is my copy paste police. CPP. Grinsville's wants to CPP. See my PP. <laughs> no, it's CPP. Copy paste, police. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see here. What are we doing here? Oh, great cop. Uh, the doctor's right arm is growing out of his ear in panel two. That doesn't sound healthy. You should really lower it. I mean, there is not a torso where this arm comes from. It ends behind his notebook. Let's have a look-see here, Grits Cop. But first, let me just make sure I just delete all of this part of the background. Okay, good, good, good. Panel 2, you say? Uh, I beg to differ. I beg to differ, Grits Cop. I will show you why. Here's why I disagree. So you're saying, I, I, I know you sort of have a point, but I sort of disagree. So here is his arm here. Huh? Here's his torso. Whoop. 3D after all. Here's his, here's his neck hole connecting to his head hole. You know what I mean? And so his arm is kind of like here, coming out that way. This one's here. So really, this is the worst color I've picked. <laughs> This is, again, this is not a penis shooting out. It's, uh, the, his limb, his, his body here, limb, limb. It works. Yes. I think that totally works. And I like, also, I like the exaggerated pose. It's, it's fine to fledge the poses a little bit. Just for the extra, uh, the extra... I don't know if Nick Mundo's still here, but if he were, he'd, he'd have my back here as a storyboard artist, I'm sure. Plenty of times where you fudge the anatomy of a character just to get a better, more impactful pose. And Cherry's here as well. I'm sure she can back me up. Assuming you were here when I started ranting about the thing here. Uh, also, welcome back, Cherry. Good to see you here. How you doing? Gumball characters always have arms coming out of their heads. It's fine. And hey, Nick Mundo, you are here. Yep, I do a lot of cheated poses. Excellent. Bam! I got, I got, I got backup here. Got my backup backing me up. What's that I hear? Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, it's my backup backing me up. <laughs> okay, wait a little. Uh, but what's this? Check out SpongeBob's arms from time to time. Oh, Spongebob. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sp very, very excellent character design. I love Spongebob's character design. His arms just come out of the side of his face, but really, he just... There are even times where he just pops out his arms and come out of nowhere. I mean, his right arm is at least 50% longer than his left arm? Yeah. Sure is. <laughs> Never happens to you. Right arm just suddenly increases in size. Twice as much. Um, stretching is also a very common animation technique. I, there's actually a lot of stretching going on. A very weird reference, but Overwatch. If you watch Overwatch animations, like the uh, the like play of the game animations or the intro animations, you know when the character like jumps into view. If you if you break that down frame by frame, their limbs are like stretching like crazy. In fact, can, let me see if I can. Uh, Overwatch stretched limbs. I want to see if I can see a reference. Uh, 
okay, well, this isn't what I was meaning, but yes. Look at this. <laughs> McCree's, uh, McCree's play of the game intro animation, when he like jumps to the camera and rolls, that's what he looks like for one frame. His whole face is stretched, his hands all crazy. <laughs> of course, they don't linger on that, on that pose for an, an entire fr uh, Well, I guess this is a frame. This is one frame. Well, that's true. And, uh... Uh... Any cartoons with big heads, you have to stretch the, the limbs. Yeah, totally. Totally. And same with this little hat. This hat changes size just because of the animation of it all. <laughs> anyway, now that I've uh, cleared my case 100%, hey, really eat my pixie dust. Welcome back. I'm doing well. Thank you very much for asking. How are you? And, uh, egg joke. Oh, cat guy decided to bounce. I do not blame him. Come on. Here we go. Egg joke time by Strike. Let's do it. And then we'll get into some work again. We're getting we're getting through this egg joke book incredibly fast. Uh <laughs> Nick Monday, you'll send me a backup invoice. <laughs> Excellent. I look forward. That's that's why I live in New Zealand. It takes it takes months for anything to reach to New Zealand, especially during COVID times. And it might get lost in the mail. It happens all the time. Mm. I can't be blamed. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Here's strike. Here's a joke for you. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Joe. Joe who? Joe mama. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Finally, Sam Rayner is getting into some sass at the end of the book. Getting sick of these kids. <laughs> Your mama. All right. I'm, su I'm surprised that Sam Rayner didn't title it Joe's Mother. Because <laughs> that would be much more in, uh, in theme with the rest of the jokes where they don't make any sense. But it kind of came from a joke at some point. And, uh... <laughs> uh yeah we got one two here we go we got like eight pages left i think eight more to go interesting strike thank you very much let's continue with the uh with the show also uh let me just mark that is complete <laughs> cool <clears throat> Oh man, the ice in this glass just melts away like nothing. I had three giant ice cubes in this thing like 10 minutes ago after lunch. How are you, how are you handling this heat, Cherry? Because today it feels like one of the hottest days. Alrighty, moving on here. What do we do now? I'm super st I'm. I'm Super stoked with everything that's coming together here. I uh, just want to change the pen color. That's driving me nuts. You know what I might do? I might go a bit crazy here. I'm going to go duo color. Blue cap, white body. Oh, shoot. Wait, hold on. I got to make the line art borders, my reference guides. There we go. I don't know, blue. It might not be blue, but some sort of duo color looks nice, I think. Looks like a real pen. And blue writing, I'm not against. Ideally, I'd prefer black ink, but blue is fine too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, the other supports. <laughs> Thank you, Grits Cup. Uh. It's pretty fine at your place, Cherry. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, what? Well, you know what? Actually, I shouldn't be complaining so much. Within the past half an hour, it's definitely... Maybe there's like a lucky cloud over my place all of a sudden. But it's cooling down nice. 
But this morning was just, I was sizzling. Sizzling like an oven. Like an oven mitt that was caught in the oven. Close the door too fast. Yeah, this is looking good. Uh, next up, let's fix this thing. This needs, this needs some love. So I've sketched out my idea of the swoop thingy majiggy. I, I, I'm not looking forward to this part. Because uh, I find this stuff incredibly hard to do. Oopsies. What the f... What did I just do? What layer am I on? Oh, I'm... What? Oh, I'm on this layer. Okay, no, 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 no. Not that. Oh, the opacity of the smack thing. <clears throat> Let's see. Make a new folder called VFX. Yeah, I find this stuff really hard to get right looking. Um, start a new layer. The white. Like. Wait, make that look. Ah! Nice. The curve a little bit better. And then, of course, you gotta have the masks as well. Kind of. But. Is it, is it gonna be thicker or? Nah, he just looks like he's like. I don't know, some sort of majestic anime character. Heavenly. Sprouting spirit wings. I don't know. Doesn't look good. Does he also have two elbows on his right arm? Two elbows on his right arm. Uh, if you're talking about this, there is something weird going on here. There is definitely something weird happening under those, under those clothes, but <laughs> I don't know. Or is it this one? I, I can't even tell. His arms... They're all noodly. They they don't really have elbows. Look at this song. Nuts. Oh, sorry, Super Tux. I missed your message because of an egg joke. <laughs> but if you don't want to do it in stream, that's also fine. Oh, sorry, Super Tux. What was your message? Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's see. I'm scrolling. Oh, here we go. I thought. I think I I ignored your message because I thought it was Nightbot. It had that Nightbot kind of look. The paragraph with the, the link. I need to teach my brain. Well, I'm teaching my brain, but that's not Nightbot. But anyway, not sure if you can or want to do this during the stream real quick for me, but or rather want to do it after the stream, but could you go to loadingeyes.com, uh, WordPress admin, export.php, export all data and DM me the file? It should hopefully only take a few seconds. Can do. Super text. I'll do this right now. First, my nerdy home. Welcome home. Ten months, my nerdy home. Thank you very much. Did you change your name? Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to answer that question if if you're trying to be subtle about it. Or is it the color change? Something feels different. Did you get a haircut? I think maybe you got a haircut, right? I think it is. I think it's that. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Double digits as well. Excellent. <laughs> uh. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. And Jose, Rosie, good to see you here. Welcome back. And what is it doing? Oh, yeah. LoadingEyes.com slash WordPress admin slash export.php. Let's get to that super tux. And let's quickly log in here. Cuptopia, gonna, gotta go to sleep. I will like it when you share it. Hey, well, thank you very much in advance. Cuptopia, thank you for uh, watching. Have a good night. Oh, I see. Export. When you click the button below, it will create an XML file to save your computer. This format, which we will call WordPress Extended RSS or WXR, will contain your post pages, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags. <laughs> Once you save the download file, you can use the import function in another WordPress installation. Da -da -da. Choose what to export all content. Sure. Download export file. I'll just push this button in case something pops up on the other screen. Oh yeah. Okay, let's download. Set eight megs. Oh, nine, ten megs, twelve megs, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen megabytes. 
23 megabytes. Five. How big is this thing? 30. 30 goddamn megabytes. 30 megabytes. Is that what you were expecting? <laughs> Super text? <laughs> That's a lot more than I thought it would be. Uh, here we go. I hope uh, Discord lets me send a file that big. Should be fine. But here you go. Yeah, it works. Cool. Uh, I hope that's what you needed. But let me know if if you need anything else. For sure. Excellent. Thank you, SuperTux. Yeah, let me let me know if you need anything else. Anything else? I uh, happy to help with anything you need. For sure. Um, now let's see, let me, uh, thicken, I think what I need is, these are too wispy. I'm gonna make these a little thicker. Especially when it comes to the edge. I think also two is a bit weird. Ah, oh geez, now I'm touching the sketch, and then off. Hmm. I mean, it's 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 kind of kind of getting there a little bit, I think. Uh oh. It's important I get this right. I think it's kind of working. Let's do the smack, uh, the, 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 what's it called? The spiky, spiky, I don't know. I don't even know. The exploded looking thing. This is also very hard to draw, I feel. One of those things that looks like it should be easy to draw, but it's really not. I'll say Grinspills, hello and good night. Hey, Grinspills, good to see you here. And uh, have a good, have a good night, Grinspills. Schlaf, good. Yeah, see, I mean, it doesn't look that good. It's not spiky enough on the edges. The lines aren't nicely equidistant. Nah. Let me save. Yeah, super text. Let me yeah. Hope that's the right file. And uh <laughs> Oh no, Teddy. I think I I think I might know what that clip is. <laughs> it, CPP, the copy paste police. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> that was supposed to be secret. <laughs> and hey, great Scott, we gotta get to bed as well. Have a good one. Uh, does Dr. Longham have two elbows on his right arm? His elbows are at around 90 degrees, but it needs to be way less than that. His bones aren't bendable. I disagree. I've seen some bendy bones. Especially if you're not drinking enough milk. I'm sure you'll find a weird excuse for not changing anything there. <laughs> way, way ahead of there. Way ahead of you. Uh, but yeah, have a good night. Good cup. Schlaf, good. Thank you for the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the arm focus here. I do, I will admit one thing. His arms look very strange here. Not just this one, but this one as well. It's just it's kind of a weird combination of things. I don't know what, what's going on so well here. And this one could be better, but good enough for now. I got bigger, bigger arms to fry here. Oh, gosh. What have I done? Oh, I know. 
That's not gonna work, is it? Um, try it. Let's try another one. The arms look like seaweed. <laughs> Jamama looks like seaweed. <laughs> uh, you're totally right. It does look a little bit like seaweed. Yeah, that's a good thing. Seaweed is healthy after all. Eh. That looks still okay. It's it's got potential. This one a little bit, a little bit of potential here. I wonder if it also needs like if I do this. Like I wonder if I should continue. Let's just make this uh blue for now. Oops, blue. I said blue. And now I can see what I'm doing here. So if I just kind of do that. Oh, almost, almost there. Perfect. Uh, I select the inside of this. Whatever is blue as well. Who knows? Who cares? Make that a group. Now, make that white. Uh, add a mask. Make it spiky. And then I fade. Fade out. Bam. That was kind of, I feel like that kind of works a little bit. It looks a little, um, I don't know, goopy. Let's be more, yeah, like that. Spiky, not, not organic looking. Gotta have that sting. Yeah, something like that, I think. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, hey, the beautiful blue champs, welcome back. Hello, hello. Is it just me or is the therapist head really big in panel four? I don't think it's that big compared to like his notebook and things. Really, that, that notebook is huge. No, I think it's. I mean, it's supposed to be because it's close up. That's what. That's why. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. I, I think I've lost a little bit of the um. Oops, wrong sketch. Uh, I think I lost a little bit of the trails here that I want to get back. Maybe. I don't like how it ends with the smack part. Like, I want it to continue for a bit longer. And then these ones need to not curve too quickly. Yeah, that's good. That's nice. And then I think we'll need additional ones that are more smaller lines, but uh, more opaque. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Bam! Smack! Line.
I kind of looks interesting. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's the Ben that's not. Like this is a I don't know, maybe now it looks a bit too fluidy. It looks like a liquid. I don't know. Yeah, no, it looks like uh like his cheek just skeeted across the screen. No 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 no. I think that I think it looked best here. Yeah, I think that looks best here. Uh, AJ Brian, very dramatic close up. Yeah. This one, or are you talking about this one? Either way, they're both dramatic. And uh, Smack Effect turned out well. Hey, thank you, Jamap. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. I think, I'm not sure if it needs something else still. Uh, <laughs> strike, redeeming another egg joke. What is this egg timer at? Five minutes? Let's do it. One more, one more egg joke. Uh, and we'll get back to it. Strike, this one goes out to you. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? Abby. Abby who? About your birthday, I forgot your gift. <laughs> About your birthday, I forgot your gift. Full stop. Full stop. <laughs> oh, man. The other ones are like, so, you know, so much emphasis, exclamation points everywhere. And then it's just like, ah, it's Joe. Joe who? Joe Mama. Next one. It's Abby. About your birthday, I forgot your gift. <laughs> Such a weird sentence to come up with. Like if, if, if about is the only word you need in a sentence, I'm sure you could come up with something better than that. Especially for an Easter joke book. And whose birthday is it? Jesus's? Oh, no, no, no. He died on Easter, right? Birthday is Christmas. Uh, gotta, can't forget that. Gotta make a reminder. Hey Siri! Hey Siri, remind me about mm -hmm. Jesus' birthday. 25th... Christmas. 25th December. Okay. Your reminder is set for December 1st, 2021. Close enough. Jesus' birthday, 25th Christmas favorites. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, close enough. Close enough. <clears throat> uh, and also, Leroy Kiwi, thank you for the hydration. Much appreciated. Oh. And Cherry, can I do a knock knock joke on Siri? Yeah, sure can. Hey, Siri. Mm hmm. Uh, wait, what am I saying? Um, I didn't find a tang on Apple Music. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Hey, Siri. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Alpaca. Alpaca who? Alpaca the suitcase. You started the car. Har har. How about another one? No. Okay. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Mm-hmm. Knock knock. Knock knock. 
Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Okie dokie. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Okie dokie. Knock, knock. <sighs> I'm not home. <laughs> wait, wait, hey Siri, knock knock. Mm hmm knock knock. I'm not home, go away. <laughs> it works. <laughs> she left. Go. Oh. Excellent. All right, all right, let's see. That's enough distractions now. Uh, <laughs> let's see, let's get... Ask Siri, what is Ligma? Hey Siri, what is Ligma? Here's an answer from Dictionary.com. Ligma is a made-up disease, an internet hoax, claimed to have killed popular Fortnite video game streamer Ninja. She's telling it like it is. <laughs> Did not want to play along there. Although I could, I could sort of, I foresaw that happening, for sure. Uh, <laughs> but it was a good try nonetheless. Uh, let's see. Let's do the smack text as well. While we're at this thing, some. Some That looks kind of cool. That looks like a sexy leg, doesn't it? I mean, just just picture it with like, you know, the the the, the lace, you know. Ooh la la! Like the little stockings. Slide that up. Ooh. Getting hot in here again. Okay. <laughs> what, what month is it? November? <laughs> Alright, All right, moving on here. Um, continuing this smack text. Kinda cool looking. Kinda cool. Could be cooler. You know how? Ooh! Oh ho God damn it, Gregor, you've done it again! Look at that! So the the middle bit of the A, whatever it's called, the little bridge, it's done by the line. It's oh that's just that's so clever. God damn I'm smart. Yeah. <laughs> Even by accident. Still it counts as being smart. That's a Eureka moment right there. Just like all the the other smart scientists, it's all accidents. Apple in the head. Who could have thought of that? I don't know. I'm gonna move this out of the borders. And uh, give it a uh, red red outline. Oh, I ruined it. How did I do this? Uh, I was gonna make it a red outline so that it kind of um, sticks out of the panels a bit, but now it's ruined my cool, cool, cool aesthetic. All good. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this by doing this. I'd make two. I'd make a duplicate layer. One is just one has got the red line. One doesn't. And in the one with the red line, I mask out the bottom. Why is it not working? What is this disgusting line here? Oh Jesus. Okay. I've... All right, that's not working. Why is that not working? What is this weird line? Never mind. I thought I was clever there for a second. Uh, hey Jasper, front down with the twenty-five bits. It's really pathetic, but I have twenty-five bits left, and they're yours. Love what you do. Hey, that's not pathetic at all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jasper. Appreciate it. Each and little, every, each and every little bit counts. Oh, dark play, you Garfield joke. All right, here we go. Yeah, bits count, bees do not. Garfield joke. <laughs> Here we go, Dark Blade. The last stream with this old Garfield joke before we get into the new stuff. 
I've got to find one that we haven't said before. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> none of those, none of those. Okay. Let's see. How can you tell Garfield from an easy chair? The easy chair has a lot less padding. I think an easy chair is like one of those uh, laid back and they're like really like really cushiony chairs, you know, when you get the, the legs to stick out. That's a bad one. And yeah, Garfield's not that fat. I mean, he's obese for a cat, but he's no easy chair fat. Let's do another one. What is Garfield's favorite? <sighs> what is Garfield's favorite bird and also his favorite pornographic scene. The Swallow. <laughs> okay. Uh, edgy jokes in here. Edgy jokes. <laughs> Pity that second power was in the book. No, The Swallow was in the, in the book. There. The punchline. There it is. Right there. See? There, it's right there. It's right there. See? Um, well, what is Garfield's favorite bird? And also pornographic scene. That's the swallow. There we go. <clears throat> anyway, thank you very much to uh, Dark Blade for that Garfield joke. Risque. And uh, let's see here. Let's see. <laughs> Moving on. To what were we done? Oh yeah, music. First of all, and now we have to try and fix our stuff. Why is this not working? You know, I just realized I don't care. I think it's fine without. I don't like the red outline, anyways. So that's good. Works for me. Smack. Um, one more thing I want to do. Let's fill this. There we go. Before I forget that. Hmm. <laughs> it should say whack. <laughs> nah, I have, to, I have to be very, you know, choosy with my whaps. I can't be whapping every week. This is definitely a smack week. Whap, whacking a patient. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh, jeez. Let's see. Oh, this song is too, too, too much. Yeah, that's fine. Tycho. Uh, what now? Is it dialogue time? I think it is. Dialogue and text. CB, CB, CB. Just making the spirals a bit lighter. They were so dark before. Spirals are usually kind of... Actually, the ones I have in my sketchbook are, are black. But, uh, damn, that would have made my whole life a lot easier. God damn it. Um, too late now. But it does mean that these ones look very strange if they're not the same color. I cannot believe we're still messing with the spirals. Can I select these? Mini spirals, mini. 
change the color to the CBCBCB hex code. Oops, CBCBCB. That doesn't look very good, does it? Oh, jeez, oh, son of a gun. Oh, wait, hold on. CB, CB, CB. Too bright. Oh, let's just pause. Whoops. No difference, but thank you, Rishu. Uh... Actually, they were fine in the way they were. <laughs> I think I think just in this one it could be a bit lighter. But everywhere else, I think that I think it kind of is fine. It doesn't have to be perfectly consistent. That that looks actually. You know what? That looks perfect. In fact, I'm gonna do one more thing that Dry Rays Girl is gonna lose her mind about. But I think it's gonna look pretty cool, and that is subtle soft gradient shading on the ends of the spiral here. See what this looks like. Oh, the opacity says so not too intense. We don't want to really notice it too much. <laughs> Just a little bit. Not too much. Pretty good. Shading with black. I think in this case it works because it's 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 a uh, like a metal gray spiral. So the, a black shading is fine. Doesn't really need to have like that blue tint. Although of course we could try it out with with what it looks like with blue. But now nah, just as I predicted, I hate that because it's going over the outline as well, and the outline is black, so the shading has to be black. And you know what I also could do? Uh, yeah, this is, I'm kind of just trolling at this point, but shine. A little like, you know, that, get that metal, metal aesthetic here going on. Oh, there's a problem here. What is happening? There we go. <laughs> just ever so subtle. Oh no! What have I done here? I need to uh, mask out this part of the notebook. Oh dear! Oh jeez! Ah jeez! Oh no, we're good. Crisis averted. <laughs> I think it looks kind of sweet. Or is it too much? No, I like it. I think I like it. I think I like it. The worst thing now would be to undo it all. It's the worst of both worlds. Spending so much time on these spiral details and then not even keeping it in the end anyway. One genius one. There's a latency to me. You have a latency to me of negative 0 0.28 seconds. Wait, does that mean you are in front of me? You exist before I do? No such thing. Or are you just saying it's like less than half a second difference? Oh wait. Say say something in the chat and then I'll tell you when I see it. Uh I'm seeing nothing. Meow. Again. I'm waiting for one genius one to say something in the chat. Baby! <laughs> Is it fast? It's kind of cool. And the uh, dry race goes, someday I'm going to ask for a spiral notebook cake. 
Not allowed. Spiral notebook cakes are forbidden forbidden from being cakes. Too detailed. It's like two to three seconds here from writing to stream. Yeah, it's still pretty impressive. And so strike redeeming another egg joke. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this one comes with an illustration as well. Knock, knock. Who's there? Anna. Anna who? Another Easter egg. I don't know what the hell is going on here. This, you know what? You know what kind of vibe I get from this picture right here? It's as if like when someone's taken someone hostage for a long time and they become attached to their hostage person and they think they're in some sort of special relationship and they start giving them gifts. So that's what it looks like. Like they've just opened the door, you're in chains, you look up, he's holding a he's holding a present, and it says, I am your gift. So that's that's a horror movie that writes itself. Uh yeah, that is also get yeah, the horror part, the tangent. Look at that tangent of the foot just grazing the bottom of the present. Stockholm syndrome, yeah, but not 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 Stockholm syndrome from the Stockholm part, but that the person taking hostage, no, the person, the hostage taker, is crazy in love with the hostie. So yeah. Anyways, strike. Hope you enjoy that one. <laughs> uh, and we'll see what the next egg joke is. Thank you very much. <sighs> Dialogue time. Save here. Wasn't that the plot of a Stephen King book? Oh yes. Um, what was it called? One of the the lady who. Kidnaps an author, who I think is supposed to resemble Stephen King, right? Uh, Misery, I think it's called? Misery? Bruto Brito. Uh, the book on the last picture has like ten rings, while in other pictures it only has five rings. And you are, you are very observant here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's intentional. Uh, the reason is... I like to detail things up when they're up close, and when they're further away, they become more and more simplified. Just like how I have five fingers here, but if I put my hand over, all the way back here, I have like one, right? But I zoom back in, and it's like, whoa, it's five. But I still have five fingers. Yeah. That's my um, logistics there. Uh, dialogue. Not too much dialogue. Yeah, we got dialogue and we got notes book text writing to do as well. Not this one. I always get the wrong, wrong sketch here. Oh yeah, that's the wrong, that's the wrong sketch. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> he just pulls this crap to get more comments on, on the Reddit feed. That is, that is not the truth. Not with this. This I feel very strongly about. Here we go. And after this dialogue part, we'll do the spider rep. And after the spider rep, we'll do the comic titles. And after the comic titles, that's it for the Twitch stream today. Oh. I don't like that T. Too wispy. Ah! 
Um, yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Looks. Oops. Looks good. Oh man, it feels like I'm moving my arms more than usual. I think it's because I'm so zoomed in. I should zoom out a bit. Use more of my, more of my wrist than my arm. Yeah, this feels better. Oh, this feels way better. What is this? Two hundred and fifty percent. Wait, no. What? That can't be right. Oh shit, that is. Wait, what? Is that two hundred fifty? Oh, this is hundred percent. Maybe I gotta start making my comics larger. <laughs> uh. I haven't changed the comic resolution since like 2012, 13. Ever since then, they've been 2,200 pixels across. Feels a little small now that I think about it. Just making this a little thicker. Just felt a bit thin the first few words. That looks better. Uh, make sure you send your spider rap clips to, to Kendra. <laughs> Only if they're good. They gotta be good. And I can't guarantee you that. And Cherry, why does it look like he's closing his eyes when he's writing? I, I like to I like to close my eyes when I'm writing. I feel like uh it, it it just looks better if I just can't see what I'm doing. But I don't know why. This is it's just a habit of kind of. I don't know. I feel like that guy from Third Rock from the Sun. Not Tommy. Not Dick. But the other one. What's his name? That's like a strange name, I think. French Stewart is the actor. Hey, Martian. Hey Martian, you should know this. Third up in the sun, because they're all Martians. Yeah. Well, actually, they're not Martians, because Martians are from Mars. I don't think they're from Mars. I don't know where they're from. But now, French Stewart. Hey Siri, what was French Stewart's character's name uh -huh. in Third Up from the Sun? Okay, I found this on the web for what was French Stewart's character's name in Terror from the Sun. Check it out. Oh, he's in Phineas and Ferb, apparently. Not that I've seen. Oh, no, no, go! Oh, why is it gone? Siri, don't... Hey, Siri, what was the guy called on Third Rock from the Sun that had the... Like, he closed his eyes a lot. Hello? Okay. <laughs> hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. What was that character called on Third Rock from the Sun that he had his eyes closed all the time? What was his name? Okay. I found this on the web for what was the character called in Thurk on the Sun. Has eyes closed all the time. What is the time? Check it out. 150 funeral poems and readings. <laughs> Stingrays from National Geographic and Silar, Gabrielle Gray, some NBC show antagonist. Okay, we were close. Harry, that's his name. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Siri almost got it there. Stingray's funeral poems. Harry. Yeah, Harry Harry Solomon. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Like that's right, that's not how he's I haven't seen that up in the sun in forever, but I used to really like it. I'm sure I still do now, but I just haven't I haven't seen it in so long. Uh Neon Light. I just got a super awesome book in the mail, and it isn't Greg's. <laughs> Thanks, Neon Lead. Well, I'd be surprised if it was. Because I, I promised myself to never, ever send you my book, ever. So, there you go. Also, it doesn't exist. They don't make sitcoms like they did in the 90s, Ascaris? I don't know. Yeah, I... The sitcoms that... I don't know. Old man yells at cloud here. Old man yells at modern sitcoms, but you're right. I haven't. I think I haven't really watched many sitcoms, but it's because they're not that good anymore. I feel they're not good. 
every time I turn on the TV, uh, I see like Big Bang Theory, which I remember enjoying the first season, but then I think when he gets with Penny, it kind of jumps the shark, and now it just it just looks terrible, and the jokes are so predictable. Maybe maybe it was always bad. I don't know. Uh, or there's like what's that other one that two two and a half men? Oh, terrible. I feel like I'm just shooting fish in a barrel here with this rant, but I'm just saying this is like. When I picture modern sitcoms, I think of those. Or what was the other one? Mom? Cool Mom? Or just Mom? Mom, that's bad as well. It's been, it's been bad for a while, I think. Sitcoms. Uh... Sorry, Ray's girl. You could cosplay as Harry because you look... Like you close your eyes 50% of the stream, of every stream? <laughs> let's, let's have a look here, actually. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I haven't seen what Harry Solomon looks like in a long time. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait. Wait for it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I can see it. I can see it. Um, <laughs> but, but Harry has more hair. Oh, it's scarce. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, man. This is just even this little snapshot takes me back. The, the attic kind of background set. This is the living room they're in right now. And that was such a good show. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Um, but yeah, Quiet Artist, agreed. Uh, season 1 of The Big Bang Theory is alright, but then it gets worse. There's a laugh track after every single MFing, MFing thing they say. I agree. A lot of laugh track. I'm not usually bothered by laugh track stuff, but sometimes it just feels so forced. I guess it's just because it's not funny in the first place. <laughs> and Dak, I know it's a cliche, but I had a friend invite me around to his place to watch... <laughs> Cliffhanger. Intermission there. Ollie991 coming back in here with 27 months. I am sub. Ollie, thank you very much. Get yourself another rainbow hat. Welcome back. How have you been? But yeah, Dak... So I know it's cliche, but I had a friend invite me around to his place to watch ten, uh, The Big Bang Theory. Because you're smart, this should be up your street. And I hated every second of it. <laughs> We've been drinking most of the day and I still didn't laugh once. <laughs> yeah, the, that it's... There's a weird reason to like a show that, oh, you're smart, you'd like The Big Bang Theory. Because the jokes in it are not smart at all. I mean, they're just like... It's real uh, boilerplate, shallow kind of nerd stuff, like, oh. Wouldn't it be funny if they collected Star Trek memorabilia but didn't open the box or stuff like that. Like, oh, that they have a really fancy laptop to play their MMORPGs. I don't know. Not really, I wouldn't call it smart comedy. It's just dumb comedy that has characters that are supposed to be really smart. Because they're scientists and stuff. <sighs> but yeah, I remember enjoying the first season. I don't know. I also remember enjoying the first season of How I Met Your Mother. But, I don't know. I think, I don't know. Now I feel like, I wonder if I went back and I watched the first season again, would I still like it as much? I'm not sure. Because I really didn't like... 
the whole bro code stuff by Neil Patrick Harris, like his character, that stuff makes me cringe. I don't know. But I think that was in the first season as well, so... I don't know. Maybe it's just... As you get older, your tastes change. There we go. Um, Dak, probably your favorite show is Taskmaster, where they just have people doing stupid shit throughout the season and it's hilarious. Man, you are so British. <laughs> they are advertising Taskmaster, Taskmaster UK, I think is what it's called here. So much on TV here lately. I'm not super into it. I'm not super into... British game show kind of panel shows so much. They're not really my thing. Um, I, I've i watched a bit of like 8 out of 10 cats do countdown. Does countdown. But... I enjoy the, the word games, the letter games. The jokes and stuff, yeah, they're right. They're pretty funny sometimes. Although sometimes I feel like just get on with it already. Get to the next get to the next number or the next word. I, get, I don't have time to sit around and wait for this comedian to do their thing. You know, the one that the featured guest that sits next to the, the dictionary lady. I don't, I can't stand those people. The, the regular ones, the contestants, they're, they're all good, but the additional ones they get, I don't know. And then when you're supposed to like come up with the best word with those letters or the how to get to that number reaching these other numbers, they keep cutting away to that guy that what's his name the guy that laughs like oh, 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 oh. what's his name black hair uh looks like the villain from toy story 4 uh jimmy carr yeah jimmy carr they always cut to him doing something funny and distracts me i'm trying to come up with this word with the nine letters they give me <laughs> maybe i should just watch countdown not, not the 8 out of 10 cats version. <laughs> God, I feel so goddamn old. Uh, but I think some people might agree with me here. Gregor just watches reruns of Murder, She Wrote. I've never seen Murder, She Wrote, but I know it's like the old lady with the typewriter and solves murders, I guess. I'm not sure. R.S. Snuggy, welcome back. Stumbled upon you this week and I've caught almost every stream since and you have not disappointed. Love your content. Thank you. Oh, well. R.S. Snuggy, thank you very much. What a nice thing to say. Thank you for sticking around. And, uh... And uh, I hope to continue to not disappoint. The pressure is on. <laughs> but thank you very much. Uh, I'm pretty sure Gregor only watches 8 out, of 10, 8 out of 10 Cats does Countdown for Rachel. Oh, Rachel being the, the numbers lady and the one that she pulls out the letters. <laughs> no. So I, I won't lie. She doesn't hurt. I just I'm just constantly uh you know I'm a, I'm attracted to her incredible mathematical skill. It's it's really enticing, is what it is. How she can come how she can like get to a a figure using other numbers if you like multiply, subtract, whatever. She gets to it so quickly. It's it's very amazing.
that she looks hot is just like a side note. I don't even notice it most of the time. I'm, I'm so distracted by her hot brain. <laughs> that's that's what it is. Bra I love brains. I love them. Can't get enough of brains. A brain in a bikini? Sign me up. I love brains so much I almost became a brain surgeon. Until they called me that one time. And I'm not allowed back in the hospital. So I went to do comics instead. Um, I don't like how I can see the tip of this plant just poking out of this speech bubble here. That's okay. Over there is fine. <sighs> but I need a new show to watch. I recently watched... So I've caught up with The Crown. Crown's good. It's always good. Although I didn't really care for the last season as much as the other ones. Still good. I just wasn't as engrossed. Um... Jack, is the crown a big thing over there in, in Britain land? I imagine it would be, because, you know, you're all like those royal people. But then again, it's, I don't know, is it sacrilege? I'm not sure. But it's a good, uh, good show, so I caught up with that. I also watched another show called The Undoing, featuring Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant, uh, which is good. Good show. Bit of a thriller. Bit of a... Bit of a mystery show, bit of a whodunit kind of thing. That was good. Uh, but yeah, there was only like seven episodes or something, and now it's done. Not, not that I am against short shows, but it's like I need something new to watch now with like dinners and things. Um, and and movies are usually too long because I I need to get back to work at some point. Ah, oh, sorry, Ratio, I didn't see that. I, I have link blindness. Uh, if I see a link, I blink. Uh, all right, let's see what this link is. Although I know the timing is not passed, I'm going to do my best. Gregor's type. Baby. Look at that. He's letting it all... Letting it all out on display. Wait a second. This is Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> why is this Twilight? Why is Twilight Sparkle's brain giving me these sexy eyes? Also, why does this guy know what what Twilight Sparkle's brain looks like? Twilight Sparkle being the main pony, pony from My Little Pony. I can tell because of her cutie mark. It's the purple with the the pink star and the white stars. <laughs> I know this because of work! I worked on the game! The My Little Pony game! But Twilight Sparkle MLP. That's that's why. See look, see look. Wait, I'm just gonna make sure there's no pornographic stuff here. Uh no we're safe. See? See? It's the same mark. Oh dear God! <laughs> uh, Twilight Sparkle pregnant is a recommended search term. What else is there? Oh God! Okay, this is a gamble. This is a gamble. Uh, okay, we're still safe. Oh God, DV now it's coming up. Now let's get out of here. No, no, let's get. No, 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 no. no. We're, we're in dangerous waters now. <laughs> Great, we're getting too deep. I think that's deep web. <sighs> Anyways, that was a long distraction. Um, 
Let's move my texts around. That looks good. Let's do the tails now. I don't want to be too angular. That looks like he's talking from a phone. I want it to be kind of just like sigh, kind of, you know, like not like. <laughs> Actually, that's not very good. That was better. Nice. Um. <laughs> I wish. Just for the record, I'm not a brony. I was merely paid. I was paid good money to make the game, to work on the game. And as any, you know, professional, I, I researched, I did my research and uh, watched the first season of the show. Because we had to copy a lot of that stuff for the, for the game. I have no regrets. And as far as the show is concerned, it's a fine show. It's fine. I'm not a brony, but five dollars is five dollars. <laughs> but I I have encountered a lot of the the dark web stuff with My Little Pony in my researching encounters. I I know it sounds like I'm just jacking off the ponies here, but when I say research, I actually mean research. Like I'm I'm actually looking for different poses of these ponies or what their houses look like or. You know, how can I translate what their house looks like into a button for the UI menus? And a lot of that stuff comes up, like, way too easily. Way, way too easily. I'd be worried if I was a parent and my child was into ponies. I'd be very, very on, on alert. I'd be like, all right, now, when you Google up your favorite pony, make sure that safe search is on, because if it's off... <laughs> You're gonna see your you're gonna see Twilight Sparkle and Applejack, but not in the friendship kind of way. In the other kind of magic kind of way. <laughs> Bronies are mean. I drew a couple of the My Little Pony ponies for my kids once, and they ripped my drawings like no other. Because the proportions are slightly off. <laughs> uh, where did you post that? Where did you where did you post it? Because again, not to dwell on this, but there's also I found out there's different pornographic My Little Pony subreddits, and they have their own rules. Because there's one there's one because Dry Razor Girl, you might you might have posted to the subreddit where it's all about proportionally correct My Little Ponies, and so these ones. They only like the ones that they look like the ponies from the show. No artistic interpretation. That's true clop. Clop clop is anything goes. But true clop is just for... <laughs> just for... <laughs> ponies that look accurate to the show. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I can just imagine this while I was like... My boss is at Game Love, like, stop doing so much research, we don't need to know, we don't need to <laughs> I've got this, like, whole, I've got, I look like, uh, Charlie from Always Sunny with the, you know, you know, Peppa Sylvia. Got the, got the strings and the lines and, like, a whole billboard full of, like, printouts and strings attached to other types of ponies. Like, see, see here in this subreddit, oh, uh, this, this subreddit, you don't, they only like the real looking, my, the ponies, right? They could be a real, realistic pony, whatever. But this subreddit. Only, only My Little Pony specific puns. <laughs> uh, but, uh, hey, I have no regrets. I don't, I'm not even ashamed. <laughs> I put that shit on my CV. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I mean, one, because, I mean, obviously, I don't need to go that far into the details, but. Once you, once I saw it, I was like, I have to uncover the entire thing. I gotta, I gotta blow the, the lid on this thing wide open. Just as open as some of the ponies that I saw. 
Uh, egg joke, Liz. Okay, yeah, there it is. Yeah, <clears throat> egg joke. Egg joke time. Nice segue. Or should I say, egg way. Strike. Thank you for... <laughs> Thank you for the distraction. A good old uh, rope and ladder to get me out of this hole. We're up to here. <clears throat> A cough out a table. What was the music? Knock, knock. Who's there? Wayne. Wayne who? Don't whine like a chicken. <laughs> I think this is... I think this is... I think, you know what, okay, I have, a, I have a new theory about the creation of this book. I think Sam Rayner, Mr. Rayner, while he was writing this book, he was freestyling it. He was like, he had a kid in the room, and he was just telling this kid jokes, and he was typing out at the same time. And so he was doing all of these ones about, uh, you know, who's there, hunt, hunt who, hunt chocolate eggs with me, milk and bunny honey, whatever, right? And then he's like, you know what, Joe, Joe who, Joe mama, kid starts to complain. All right, and he's like, okay, well, well I'm disappointed in this kid. Abby, Abby who? About your birthday, I forgot your gift, right? And then, and then, and then it goes on, kid's crying. He's like, hey, okay, hey, kid, hey, kid, stop you crying. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wayne. Hey, who? Don't whine like a chicken. <laughs> Disciplining his kid, but still typing out his, his joke book. And, uh, oh, I almost forgot. There's a whole page here that I should include, as it's just an illustration. Um, it is... A taste of bunny, parenthesis, honey. A taste of honey. A taste of bunny. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. And my goddamn table is still gone. Come back to me. Cool. All right. <laughs> Sam Rain definitely did two lines of coke and typed this all up one hour before the deadline. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Alrighty, thank you very much, Strike, for another egg joke, and let's continue with this comic. We're almost there. Almost there. <sighs> we got the first one. I don't want to make it look like a font, like these, this is hand drawn. Yeah, it's looking a little too, too big, I think. Um... Oops, oh, yeah. oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, hold on. Yeah. All right, okay, looks good. And then I'll shift over uh, one of these question marks. That was a little too thick. Let's make this a bit skinnier. That looks pretty good. <laughs> Read it, Gregor. I know you saw it. Let me get a taste of that bunny honey. <laughs> How'd you know this is the exact same thing I said to Lola Bunny when I met her in my dreams? Hey, Lola, let me get a taste of that bunny honey. Spread some of that bunny honey all over me. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yes. This notebook text here. I also need to do another one. The uh, scribbling out. Notebook scribbles. 
Uh, my chair is so squeaky. I hope this isn't coming up on the microphone. Oh no. Okay, you can't hear this? That's good. Because it's like, like if I if I like if I trigger the microphone for a second. Can you hear this? No, you can't hear this? I think I'm making it worse and worse by doing that. Oh god. Yeah, that's that's it's annoying. That kind of works. Enable focus, please. <laughs> never try erase y'all. Never. I'm almost done. Um, this thing, Majiggy. I'm going to make it blue like the pen. Oops. Oops. Oh. oh, oh. Yep. Yeah, like that. Like that. Like that. Uh. Normal. Actually, no. I want to do it this way. Changes the multiply. Oh wait, um, okay, that works even better. Never mind. Change the color to be a bit dark blue. Yeah. That kind of works. What do you get? What do you guys think? It's fading out these uh, carpet tufts a bit. It's a bit too um. In your face in this last panel. I think it looks pretty good. Oh. Well, let's pause. Cerisi. Hey, Cerisi. Thank you very much. Get in here for 30 months. Much appreciated. Sure thing. What are you doing? What? Okay. Cerisi. Thank you. Welcome back, Cerisi. How are you doing? Drop down and tear. <laughs> Don't worry about Cerisi. You didn't even have to. You don't even have to mention it. Don't even mention it. You're just shining a spotlight on it. I totally wouldn't even have noticed. But now that you told me, I feel incredibly crushed inside. <laughs> no, it's all all good, seriously. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. And also, wait, hold on. I just noticed. You not only have you resubscribed, but you've subscribed for six months in advance. Seriously, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing today? Let's see here. Thank you. How are we all liking this? Is this good? I can I can see myself um tweaking or not tweaking, but polishing quite a lot of this. I'm really not really liking how the background wall is kind of the same color as the the couch there, but I don't care. Right now, I might change that later. But everything else looks pretty sweet. I think it is time for spiders. That's what I think. Why is he not writing on the lines? He's a madman. Yeah, you're right. I think he would write on the lines, but they're just too goddamn small. Yeah, actually, that looks a, bit, a little bit better than just randomly somewhere. Yeah, I, I quite like that. Hey, uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, Nicholas, I missed your message. Um, shouldn't that scribble have the same thickness as the letters? Technically, I mean, it depends on how you hold a, hand, on how to hold a pen. But you can angle your pen to be a little, you know, skinnier. I know I do. Just how I angle my body <laughs> to be a little skinnier, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I made it thinner just so you can see the word clearer. But I think it's pretty, pretty clear as it is, huh? Yeah, 
I don't know. I could go either way. And, uh, Sarissi. Oh, uh, you're all right now that we have power again. This Texas weather has been a, bit, uh, been a bitch. Oh, I see. I see. Goodness me. Sarissi. Stay safe. Take care in there. The things I've been hearing and seeing from Texas is terrifying. Makes me, makes me, uh, uh, Pause for a moment before I complain about how warm it is over here. Only for a moment, and then I start complaining. It is quite sweaty. I don't like it. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> but, hope you're doing all right, Cirissi. Hope none of your pipes have burst or anything like that. Um, I heard a, I heard a, I've heard, I heard a thing where if you keep your pipes running, they can't freeze. Like, it's got to be a, a pencil-thick stream from the tap, but then a, a certain tap. From a certain room in the house. I forget. I didn't read the whole comment. Because I was like, oh, I'm, I don't live here. I don't know. This is information is just going to get lost on me. But now I'm regretting not reading the full thing. Because I could have imparked my uh, knowledge to you all. Oh, apparently it doesn't help. Dry raise gold. It helps, but it didn't work for your sister. Oh, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I hear it, that dripping is not good enough. It's got to be a pencil-thick stream. That's what I've heard. Well, hey, Snoochie, welcome back. And also, Fez, welcome back. Um, but Jesus Christ. Her pipes still burst and flooded their house while they had no power. <sighs> Jesus. Like, as if one of those things wasn't already, like, apocalyptic enough for a house. A pipe bursting and flooding the house. And then also, no power at the same time. Jesus Christ. That's... Terrible. I cannot even imagine. I hope, uh, I hope things get better for Texas soon. And I hope whoever is, in, is responsible gets... What's that word? Their comeuppance, in a way. Well, I know it's not, there's only, not only one person that's responsible for, like, climate change. I mean, that's a whole thing. But... I don't know, I'm sure there's someone to blame. I, I, we should just stop pointing fingers. Somewhere. It's the politics. Who needs them? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Get rid of all the politics. But yeah, um, but good to hear from you again, Cersei. Hope you're doing all right. Um, on, a, on a different note, I just realized I deleted some of my picture frame color when I shouldn't have. Let me just quickly do that, and we'll get the spider, shall we? Here we go. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I needed to do. That's good. Uh. The power companies didn't follow through the, with the policy changes. It's not political. Oh, I see. I thought it was because they weren't on the national grid. I honestly have no, I don't know. I have, I have no, I have no, uh, not, I don't even have a soapbox to stand on to, to say any of this stuff because I have no idea what's happening by anything. But it all sounds terrible. The house I own that I'm renting at the moment, I uh, just got a report from tenants that there were some pipes burst there too. So that's a nightmare I don't want to think about. Oof, seriously. Goodness me. This pipe bursting thing is nuts. Like, when I was picturing the, the downfall of civilization thanks to, like, climate change, pipes bursting is not one, not one of the things I ever thought about. Never considered that one. But, uh, yeah. Not very promising sounding, no. Okay. And hey, China Cheese Boo, burst pipes are no joke. Uh, happened in my house a few years ago. Did like thirty thousand dollars in damages. Insurance covered it though, but still. Oof, 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 oof. Excuse my ignorance, but how are the pipes bursting? Uh, from what I understand, it's because the 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 temperature has gotten so cold that the water inside of the pipes are freezing, and when water freezes, it expands, and the pipes can't stretch, so they explode. Am I right? think so. So how does it work in like other places where snow is a regular thing? 
do their pipes just become more flexible? Uh, they made out of plastic or something? I don't know. Like, are these different pipes? Why don't we just make all the pipes the flexible type? Hey, Lee914, thank you for following. Huh. Pipes of copper? Huh. You can insulate and winterize pipes to prevent it in colder places, but they don't do that in South Texas because they're dumb. Uh, insulate and winterize. How do you winterize a pipe? Huh. Yeah, I mean, I, the thing is, I don't think, isn't, like, snow in Texas, like, unprecedented? So it's, it's like, why would you make pipes winterizable in, I don't know, the desert, for example? But, yeah, I don't know. If it's unused, fill it with glycol, heat trace them. Hey, okay. insulation, rapid insulation. Huh. Oh man, this is this is all this is like way out of my knowledge range now. Goodness me. Well, I hope things get better somehow, <laughs> uh, which is my kind of head in the sand kind of technique. I've been doing that a lot. But yeah, it's time for it's time for some spider rap. How about how about that? Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Distractions. Wait, what? Uh, where did my text just... What? Why is my text gone? Hey! Oh, I... <laughs> I accidentally pushed the delete button. <clears throat> Why did that happen? Okay. Save. Let's wrap this up with a spider web. And then comic titles. And that's it. So... Make a... <laughs> I still didn't get a... I didn't get a new wrapped beat. God damn it! Oh, whatever. Let's do this thing. Perfect timing with the music. Mm. Okay, spider wrap, spider wrap. Get your spiders onto the stage. I don't even know what the rap about. Therapy. Uh, <laughs> nothing rhymes with therapy. Hair piece, therapies, hair piece, charities, therapies. Uh, uh. Wish me luck. I'm going in. Mm. Okay, same with this. What's this beat? What's this beat like? Yo, yo, what's up? Yo, twenty twenty one. Yo, hello. Hello. Welcome back to another spider rap. This time we're looking in the brain. We're looking inside the brain. Oh no, this boy is insane. Let's check him out with a notebook against the face. Look at that. It stings like mace. But that's okay. Because I won a race one time. I was really fast with my shoes. They were untied. But I got there in the end. But I slowed down before the finish line. So where is this line going? I don't know. I don't even know how to rhyme. Is that a crime? If it was, then lock me up. Lock me up in the bookshelf. Gonna read some books. Gonna get all nice and... Neat and cozy up in my nook. Gonna read a nice good book. And I've accidentally clicked the wrong window. Oh no, everything is minimized. What am I gonna do? Incentivize. Incentivize. Insinuize. Open my eyes. Some of those were words, I think. <sighs> I haven't even started drawing the spider. <clears throat> Part two, always good to do. Number two is also good to do. Just make sure you don't miss the spot, otherwise it's gonna get on the ground and rot. <coughs> oh my god, where should we put the spider? That's right, I keep getting distracted further and further. Spider in the bookshelf, who would have guessed? Awesome place to have a rest, and a nice good book to read, and 
see a story in your head, gonna make it nice, nice and warm before going to bed. I like to read books before bed. It makes my head nice and cozy in bed. And I like the color red. That's why I have it all the time in my comics. Oh no, nothing rhymes with comics. I am stuck in this loop with comics. Comics? S Sonic the Hedgehog is blue. What else is blue? This couch, that's not new. Moving on to a different view. Spider in the pot plant, getting nice and hot in the sand. And that's okay. It looks bad, but anyway, gotta fix it with my layer structure. Oh my god, did you hear he met her on the street? It was really nice. They had a nice treat. They went to the restaurant and got on the floor, and then he opened his wallet and he flaunted it. He got it on with the break of dawn and then he said hey let's do this again that restaurant was nice what you get with rice it was delicious let's get it again sometime <sighs> 99 percent terrible rap one percent spiders <laughs> this is what this is devolved into shouldn't be called spider rap should be called rap possibly featuring spiders Buffy, four months. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Buffy. <laughs> much appreciated. Uh, oh my goodness. And also, I missed Connect. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, I missed your connection uh, when you followed. I was busy being Eminem. Uh, what am I doing? Circle and certificate. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. And the pot in the fourth panel, that's also a good idea. Better than this panel. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Gonna cut off my ear and call me Van Gear. If my name wasn't Van Gogh, but who knows? Maybe he went with Van Gear. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? I only got one nose. Let me breathe. I wanna smell your hair. Okay, the thing I do know is that the spiders are going to be in the background at some point. So I'm going to put them in the background. Which means they're not going to stand out so weird with this uh, atmospheric sound uh, layer. I'm going to put the little spider here. Here he is, poking out. Um, yeah, it looks, that looks pretty good. I think, yeah, fourth panel spider in the pot is a solid entry. I also like the certificate idea. I'm going to do that in a second. Hey, Fez, you got to go. Catch you later, Fez. Thank you very much for watching. That is... That's not bad. That's, that's... I kind of like that one. I like that one. It's going to be a good one. What do we do if we want fun? I don't know. Let's check. The I can't think of anything around with one. One, 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 two. Gone? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Moving on. Moving on, number one. Yeah, moving on works. Okay, uh, anyways. Spider in the sun, uh, not the sun, but the, the metal thing. We could try it. Oh, doesn't look good. Uh, like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. That looks... <laughs> you know, I just realized, you can't see that picture frame at all in the first panel. Which I don't like at all, because... And it's like, oh, suddenly it's here, and then suddenly it's here? Where did this come from? Can't see it there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll move. Yeah, maybe I'll move. Actually, no, that's good. I will move. You know why? It symbolizes that that guy feels uh, distant from people. 
so distant that his speech bubbles don't even penetrate the personal space of the person he's talking to. Deep and smart. Yes, that looks good. What's it doing? Oh, the spider. There you go. There's a spider there. But I think, you know, what might be better if the spider was... <sighs> no, I don't know. See, the thing is, you can't see that little uh, yellow thing in the other one, so... I think it would be strange if there was just like this random yellow spider here all of a sudden. You have no other frame of reference to be like, oh, it's just that little certification badge thing. You just see it here all of a sudden. I don't even like seeing it here. This is too much. I'm not even talking about the spider. I'm talking about the, the whole thing in general. I'm not sure. I like this one. You know, but with Greg, the tier three patrons and tier three subs will see it. That's true. <laughs> but as far as the spider is concerned, it has to be something that everyone can understand and see. Yeah, that, that's definitely going to look better later. Spider drawn on paper, last panel, Nicholas Spire. Oh, no, no, no. I like to, I don't like to uh, get too close to the punchline here. You know, like, yeah, he could be like doodling or something, you know, got the cube thing. Like he's bored and he's got that, uh, like that S thing. I forget how it, how to do it. What the hell? How do you do this? And like this. Yeah. You... <laughs> um, this seems like a different joke though. Having like doodles. It just, it clashes with this, but it's not a bad idea. It's just not the right idea. For me, right now, right here, right now, right here, right now. Maybe put pebbles in the flower pot so the spider doesn't jump out in the third panel. Oh yeah, pebbles could weigh it down. Uh, pebbles, eh? Pebbles, you say? Uh, I'm not too fussed. I mean, it is pretty subtle anyways. That's pretty subtle. It's not a bad idea. If it if it was too in your face, I would definitely consider that. That eighth note. <sighs> and uh, hey, misconnect. Where am I from? I am living in New Zealand, but I was born and raised in Dubai. But my parents are from Austria. But Zelda. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Can't do Zelda today. No ways, no how. Unfortunately, Rosie. No, 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 no. Too much to do today. But I would like to do game streams again at some point. But first, we gotta do a Godfather joke. Thanks to Crazy Cow Sky. Hello, welcome back. Uh, uh, Godfather joke time. Okay, and then we'll get into comic titles, eh? Comic titles. Okay, Godfather joke. Uh, do you eat a? S Oops, do you, I almost messed it up. Uh, have we said this joke before? Again, this is the last day with this guy for the joke book. We've got plenty more from next week forward. Do you eat soup with your right hand or your left? Neither. I use a spoon. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And let's top it off with a page out of my favorite book. East the Joke Book for the Kids. Yuko, redeeming one. We're almost at the end here. We're almost at the end. I'm feeling a little sad. A little emotional. Uh, <laughs> knock. Wait, hold on, is this right on? Yes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Chicken. Chicken who? Check your head. I think you lost it. <laughs> All righty. All righty. Uh, 
Okay, wait. I don't know. Do we do the? Uh, I don't know. We're so close to the end here. No, no, no. We got to. We got to save these pages. So close to the end. <laughs> um, let's see here. Yes, we're almost at the end of this joke book here. There's some good ones coming up. Looking forward to it. But thank you, Yuko, for uh, for redeeming another egg joke. And uh, let's get to the next part of the of the stream, which is uh, wait in. Oh, the comic titles. Comic titles time. So let me just remove some layers I don't need. Okay. Save this. And uh, get this comic over to the side here. And get the comic titles here. So this is the part of the stream where everyone has been um, suggesting comic titles over the past three streams. 75 titles and counting. You can you can keep adding more if you'd like. Uh if you have a really good idea or something. Even if I'm not streaming tonight. As long as I haven't posted the comic yet, it's still up for grabs. So uh here we go, let's begin. Put on some tunes. Some nice background elevator music would be nice. And uh Wait, why was this Teddy? That was probably the note sent to Sam Rayner by the publisher. And he just added it? What? Check your, check your head, I think you lost it. <laughs> He's talking to himself. Lordy, lordy. Oh, God, some of these next pages. Okay, anyways, anyways, anyways. No, no spoilers. Here we go. Let's get to the comic titles time. <clears throat> I'll leave the emotes on as well. Why not? So, here we go. Starting with uh, Grin's Pills. Hits close to home. Oh, I see, like hits and it's close to home. I get you. Like a slap in the face. Whap. Hooked on a feeling. Swing and miss. Slapathy. Oh, like apathy? Uh, cheer up to cut. <laughs> That's clever, to power. Very clever. Man, some of these are very clever so far. Good job, everyone. All right, moving on. That was enough uh, acknowledgement. Professional psychologist. Freudian slap. <laughs> uh, no harm done. Knocking some sense into it. Hit me, daddy. <laughs> uh, shrink wrapped. Like rap. A strike. Impactful insights. Freudian slap. Bang for your buck. Impactful ideas. What did the five fingers say to the face? Hands on. Hands on approach. Secret Santa. You made resolutions, that TXC. Let's get through these meme ones. <laughs> uh, physical therapist. No impression. Double or nothing. Strength based therapy. Actual form of therapy. Huh. Strength based for therapy. Strike. Psychiatrist, psychiatrist. Oh, like psychiatrist, psychiatrist. I get you. I get you. Uh, mixed mental arts. My loneliness is killing me, and I, I must confess, I still believe, still believe. When it, when you're not with me, I lose my mind. Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Shrink, whip. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Shrink wrap. Uh Numb in like a sit in, but he's totally numb. Do you know what I mean? Six thirty nine VIP founder, thirty nine month subscriber, cheer, seventy five K I'm super depressed. Oof wait, I think I have a good title. Striking revelations or striking realization. Get better, numb. Another good one, I'm super depressed. Another good title someone could redeem for me would be Painful Truth. Carpool Tunnel. Linked in Park. Percussive Maintenance. Plan B. 
To do list. Harder, better, faster, stronger. The healing touch. This comic slaps. Depersonalization disorder. Domestic measures. Percussive therapy. All right, that was page one. Round of applause, everyone, for your page one. Page one tributions. Tribute. That was the word I was thinking of. Thank you for the 10 year anniversary tribute website. Excellent. Not, not, not shrine. Yeah. Oh, oh there actually is. Where's, where's, there's more. There's more. Wait, progressive, progressive maintenance. Resolutions that TXC is what I meant. Striking realization. Painful truth. Sigmund Freud. Like Sigmund Freud. Uh, we had a these get here. I thought it was at the end of the, per the, the, the page. But I see. Superpress managed to submit their ones. I shall refund you, you your ones, uh, Teddy and Quiet Artist, afterwards. Alrighty. Next page. Page two. This is where the real shit goes down. When depression hits hard. Hey, hits hard. Greg in 2013. Greg's looking at me in disappointment, isn't he? <sighs> They're not even looking at you. They're pissed off. <laughs> uh, spiraling down. Is this based of? Is this inspired by my spirals? Inspiraled. Sigmund Freud. Empty feelings. Physical therapy. Gregor's greatest hits. Hit me, baby, one more time. I gotta go now. Bye. Oh wait, that was a title, not a highlight. Oops. <laughs> Physical therapy, shot in the dark, numb therapy, breaking treatment, hard treatment, slap some sense, slap out of it, therapist. <laughs> this comic is brought to you by BetterHelp. No hard feelings, talking smack. <laughs> not bad, not bad, Coma Code, not bad at all. <laughs> Uh, striking out. Harder daddy. Egg. Oh, by the way, I know it's a little late, but shrink looks weird. Pantsless with such puffy shirt. Number of... S <laughs> oh, the, the voice is coming into my head. Shrink looks weird. Pantsless with such a puffy shirt. Number of spirals keeps changing. Shrink head too large in panel four. Hat guy looks like a bean. Why is Shrink writing in all caps? Also, why didn't you make the lines bigger in versus text small in notebook? Oh, also, panel three first and four speech bubbles seem weird sized. Where is background behind panel in panel five? Hey Siri, why are we here just to suffer? <laughs> she says, I'm sorry. It's... I can't see it. There it was. In a hushed tone as well. I didn't even say it out loud. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Slaps musical. Three strikes, you're out. Like knocked out. Wouldn't not pad bend upon smack? Not hardback? Is he using a marker and not a pen? And why? Why is couch so smooth? Normally they have three sections. Also... Is the bookshelf against a separate wall? Corner? Oh, also, the diploma seems an odd perspective. Lastly, what did you say about me and bees? Secret Santa. The magic touch. Six peens heels. Six peens? Six, six pence? Six pence? What did six pence sing? Hey, Siri. What does Sixpence sing? Okay, I found this on the web for what does Sixpence Sam. Check it out. No, Siri, Siri, Siri. Hey, Siri. What songs do Sixpence perform? Hey, Siri. Would you listen to me? Hey, Siri. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh. Sixpence songs. I didn't find Sixpence on Apple Music. Wait, am I getting this? Am I not even thinking in the right direction here? 
It's a young people reference. You wouldn't know it. <laughs> okay. I, I thought Sixpence was a band. Didn't they do that Kiss Me song? Hey Siri, who sings Kiss Me? Kiss Me is by Sixpence None the Richer. Boom! Indeed. I was right all along. Maybe I am younger than most people think. I know, I know that 90s hit of a song. <laughs> that should prove how young I am. Uh, it was a Tumblr user who tried to charge for email therapy with no license. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get the hell out of here. Get off my lawn. <laughs> damn kids, damn punks with your tumblers and your your memes and your email therapy without licenses. <laughs> but no, I haven't I haven't heard of that. The last thing I heard about was that six legged spider that someone emailed. That sounds like an incredibly old meme. It's not even a meme. Even calling something that isn't a meme a meme sounds makes you sound like even older. I should stop saying that word. Um, lolcats. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving on here. Yeah, sounds sounds crazy. Sounds wild, Cherry. I haven't. I have a Tumblr page, but I, I I never use Tumblr. I only ever see screenshots on Reddit. Uh, all right, here we go. Hey Siri, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. <laughs> Didn't get that. Uh, On it, I'm not sure I understand. I really don't need to do this, but I'm curious. I know Google would knock this out the park, but does Siri? I don't know. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. Cheater. All right, that works. You know what? It isn't. It's not a goddamn comic title. Jesus. Okay. PSA. If you need help, get a real therapist, not the crackpot in the comic. Thank you very much. This therapist had an impact on me. Away with words. Greg Old Lol. At a loss for words. No pain, no gain. Therapist. And that's a wrap. Perfect timing with the music. Thank you very much. And impactful therapy. Thank you very much, everyone. All of your titles. Now, here comes the hardest part of these streams. Finding my favorite title. Hmm. Well, I know what I don't like. Uh, <laughs> wait, that sounded harsher than it needed to be. What I meant to say was, Despite me liking all of these titles, I unfortunately cannot accept titles that refer to a slap too much. Although, is it really a spoiler when it's the second panel? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, Freudian slap is clever. But, I, w I might want to minimize any references to slaps and stuff. Uh... Because uh, I think it takes away a little bit from the shock. The shock that you see in the second panel. So uh, it includes Hit Me Daddy. And uh, Hands On Approach is pretty good, though. Hands On Approach. I quite like that one, Andrea. There's a couple of new ones in the chat being submitted right as we speak. We've got Impactful Therapy, Therapist, Kappa, New Zealand Mental Health System, Getting Out of Hand, Helping Hand. Ooh! Helping hand. Oof. Oof. Damn, that's pretty good. Nice one, dry erase girl. Hmm. I can't decide. I cannot decide. They're so good. But I must decide. But I don't have to decide now. But I, I, there are so many good ones. I, I, how about this? How about this for the new tradition? I kind of just, as I'm saying them out loud, I kind of, you know, highlight some of the ones I like, which I already do. And that'll be it, really. Uh, to come up with, like, to, to decide on the actual title is like a whole process I have to 
I have to explore every word in the entire dictionary and then multiply that a million times before I decide on the title. It's, I can't just be I can't just be pulling one out of the hat like this. It's a whole lengthy process. But thank you everyone for your suggestions. There's definitely some gold in there. And uh, let's see here. Okay. But thank you very much, everyone. For duplicates, how do you pick? Uh, JB, I usually credit the first person that gets to, um, that manages to uh, submit the title. So the first come, first serve when it comes to duplicates. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I know it's not, it's not, I mean, thing is, yeah, 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 it's not, not the most ideal situation, but it's the fairest one. Because then there's some people that like to, as for a joke even, to submit titles that have already been submitted on purpose, and then, that, then what do I do? How do I distinguish the real ones from the, the, the jokey ones? And then, anyway. <laughs> uh, we'll see what, V could help you scour the dictionary, she's read the whole thing. Dry erase ago, that was years ago? You read the entire dictionary? Like a book? You just like, word for word? My goodness. <laughs> wow. Uh, no other books? I thought you had like 400 books to read in your, in your room right now. 700 books? You go for the dictionary. Why wouldn't you? Why? Good, it's a good point. Why buy a book when you can just read the dictionary, which has all the words? <laughs> You're getting your best bang for your buck. Anyways. Excuse me, that's not my farting, that's just the outside. If you could hear it. If you couldn't hear it, then ignore what I just said. Uh, now, I am done. You did, Darius Girl, you read the dictionary. I also read all of our world books. And the encyclopedias. We were grounded from the TV a lot. Oh, wow, this... <laughs> oh, my God. Goodness me. World books. Like what? Like a, like a geography book? Like a map book? Like an atlas book? Like a world flat? Like countries book? Weird. <laughs> Interesting. I probably should. It's a good idea. It would definitely increase my vocab. I would I would know like many more words if I did. Uh hey Rico said so dinner time. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Or night. No worries. Have a good dinner. Uh yeah, we're about to we're about to we're about to wrap up here as well. So and Rishu, you're off as well. Good night, Rishu. Thank you for watching. And uh I'm gonna extend my thanks to everyone. Thank you for watching. Rosie, unfortunately, no, no Zelda, no Zelda, no Zelda. Too busy. Too busy. Not just today, but pretty much every day. Too busy. Too busy, too busy. I got so many things I gotta do. I gotta polish the comic, uh, come up with a bonus panel or bonus panels, stream that to Discord for all subs and patrons, post everything, help Super Tux out helping me with the website, Learn how to animate. Do everything else on my to-do list. Respond to those emails. Get a good night's sleep. Wake up. Do that Zoom call. <gasps> and pick up some cat shit. So yeah, I got my 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 evening is packed. Absolutely packed. Uh what is this deck? What is this? Jesus fucking Christ, Dak. What? Huh? What? Oh, oh the alerts are paused. Oh, why does that keep happening? I thought I tied that thing up. The rubber band must have gotten loose. <laughs> oh, what are, what are we looking at here? With these? I, oh, what's this? Sam, 100 bits. Hey, Siri, add Zelda to my to-do list. <laughs> hey, Siri, add Zelda to my to-do list. I didn't find a to-do list. Do you want to create one? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to get into this whole weird, it's different apps, different to-do lists. Okay, no, no. nice talking with you. I don't need that sass either. That sound is so sarcastic. Siri, stop being so sarcastic with me. 
All right, she's just done. She's done with me. Uh, I have a to-do list. It's just not the Apple to-do list. It's it's it's, it's on the to to doist app. It's different. So it's a whole different thing. If you don't have a to-do list, then you should play Zelda. I have a to-do list. I have. I got plenty to do. Um, but thank you enough uh, again for another hundred bits. And uh, and uh, Zach, what is this link? What is this link? What are we looking at here? Not joking. Unknown. The PNG. <laughs> I mean, a lot can be done with that letter. That is one of the most common letters in the English language. So you know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like the AK forty-seven of <laughs> of naughty words. Okay, yeah, Automod is crazy. I. Well, considering this is like the last st stream on the front page of Twitch ANZ, I'm probably just gonna drop down Automod to like barely there. So it was I, I only intended on because the Twitch staff were like, "Hey, since you're front being front page and featured on the front page, you should turn this Automod thing on." Uh, that was actually that was actually main, main, mainly for the main front page, not this ANZ stuff. ANZ is much more subtle, but. Uh, but for like that 10,000 viewer one, yeah. Not that it even really mattered. Everyone was so polite and nice. And the mods are on point. But yeah, yeah. Automod has literally not helped once, yeah. It's more just busy work for the mods. That's, that's how I see it. It's the hamster wheel for my mods. The scuttling around, they're getting a little too much of the cabin fever. Here's, here's, some, here's something to do. <laughs> <laughs> Busy hands make. What's that phrase? Hey Siri, what's that phrase with the busy hands? Ash, ah, get the hell out of here. Okay, there's no time for this. We, we gotta. I got so much to do on my to-do list. Let's get out of here. Uh, thanks to the mods for helping out. <laughs> Thank you, Super Ducks, Dak, Grins Pills. We got Sarissi here as well. Much appreciate it. And. Uh, and uh, and thank you everyone else for, for tuning in and for all your feedback and your title suggestions. All very nice. Thank you very much. And uh, I will... Oh, that's another thing I want to do the list. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta write that uh, 10 year anniversary. hell is this? <laughs> oh. I was gonna write that 10 year anniversary thing with the, the Loaded Artist website. The, the awesome thing, the tribute thing that you all did for me. And include the montage from Mark Mansfield. So I still gotta do that too. So yes, lots to do. Hey, my hands look weird. Look at this. Look at this. If my fingers were webbed right now, I would look like a duck. <laughs> like, like a freaky ass duck. They're like Cloverfield style. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it. Uh, that would be weird. Cloverfield had a webbed feet. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's get the outro going on. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, thank you very much. Where's the outro? Where's the outro? Uh, there it is. Outro time. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Gregor on the streets, duck in the sheets. <laughs> quacking, quacking furiously. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you like this? You like this? <laughs> uh. Stream's been too long these days. Too long. Too long. Too long. I'm out of here. Did I, did I fix the theater? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, as always, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr. There's a subreddit. There's a Discord server. If you're a sub or a new sub, guess what? You've got access to all my bonus panels and the secret streams on Discord. Just check that out. Otherwise, 
I also have a YouTube channel that I don't post to, but I have a, another YouTube channel, the Archives channel, which I do post to a lot. All my VODs, I post them there. Check that out if you like. Like if you like this, but you want to see this not live and without the chat, then boy, do I have a YouTube channel for you. And that's it. <laughs> oh boy. What's the music? Stop it! Wait, wait, wait. RS Snuggy getting in here just, just in the nick of time. <laughs> I've got my alerts pause usually like, they pause like five seconds before the curtains close. Uh, so you got in right at the end there. Excellent. Thank you for breaking my outro. Much appreciated. Get yourself your first hat. And hey, don't forget, now that you're a sub, you get access to bonus panels. All you gotta do, join our Discord server and prove to Discord that you're a Twitch sub by connecting your accounts. But thank you again. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you in uh, future streams. And Miss Connect, Good luck with your to-do list, and I wish you a nice evening. I must sleep. 3 a.m. over there. I right, have a good night. Let me let me get to this outro real real fast now. If you haven't seen the outro, misconnect. You don't want to misconnect out on it, because it's wild, wild stuff. But here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh wait, no, I don't. Oh, the alerts don't pause anymore because I have a different setup. And yeah, they don't. Okay, no, they pause. They pause when I close them. Okay, that's it. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye, farewell, and see you next time.